Uh, oh, let's see if we can get some that goes. And maybe we can... Oh, I'm tired. Just woken up. I just laid. Actually, it's in some sense the beginning of the... the beginning of the... The seven day. But I've slept too long. Way too long. Not sure what is going on. Well, it's not always going as you want it. Um, so the Sabbath is now here. And, you know, waking up and um, just <laughs> uh, playing a little, in some sense, this game, which is like a historical thing. And I'm not really sure about it, you know. I'm thinking of deleting it and all that, but um, you can get it to crash in some sense so it doesn't really count in regards to time, which I think is pretty good because, you know, the time is just, you know, the, the thing is, the more cards you get on the in the game, the, 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 what shall we say, it seems to become slower and thereby also becoming slower, you have, you know, and you need to scroll through all the cards to get to the place where you need to put the card. It's just, you know, it's... Um, and you need to think as well, right, where it is. Uh, where the guy seemed to have put it. Maybe we should just turn this on and see if we can get some light. Ooh, there we go. So, um... And it apparently ends with the so-called, so-called conversion of Paul. And the funny thing is, of course, Jesus said that would come someone after him, sowing the bad seeds, or the Daniel, or I can actually remember now, Daniel, or the tares, as it's usually also translated, compared to the eatable uh, wheat. Then we have the poisonous, lawless, Tales, Daniel, uh, which is also a sort of grass, as I understand it, but it's you know look alike. If you look it up on yeah, Google, you can see the difference between the two uh, plants. I think plant. I think you can use plant. It's still a plant, right? It's growing, but it's a uh, some kind of a grass. I think both of them, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure if that is it because grass and corn. Yeah. Uh, there might actually be a difference there, but anyway, whatever, you know. Um, so, for example, you have Joseph's dream, and Joseph would, of course, be before... Let's see. That would be after Isaac, and, of course, before his, his uh, becoming a slave, because his, his brothers was not too happy about him. And in regards to the dream where, let me see, the... The, what do you call those? Um, the, the yellow ones was his brothers, I think. And the sun and the moon was the father and the mother. Uh, no, or was it the... No, it wasn't the stars, was it? I can't remember if it... I've, yeah, you can see them bowing before Joseph here. So that's the... What is it called? Sheaf or something like that. They are bowing before him. And the sun and the moon was the mother and the father. But wasn't there something about people saying it was actually in regards to stars? That the st I have I have to read you know read more of the Bible for sure. You know, there's a lot of holes for sure. You know, um. So let's see here. So this is in the in regards to the Roman calendar. We are in the. 8th of the second month 2019 on on the day of Friday but again that's actually the first uh, uh, sorry last day of the week now because it has begun it begins at sunset to sunset so we have this is the seventh day this is the day of rest well you know you're not allowed to buy anything of any shops you're not allowed to sell anything it is a day of, you know, for example, reading the Bible, you know, that's, that's as far as I know, this is the best day to actually read the Bible, you know, a blessed day to read the, the, the Bible, you know, a sanctified, a set apart day of the week. 
that's the day to read the Bible, I think. That's a really, really, you know, you can read it any day, but it's a really good day, I think, to uh, to do that. Uh, of course, um, you know, our meeting up in regards of listening to the scriptures, which would have been, you know, this, which was the the thing that Jesus did, of course, or Yeshua did. He went to the synagogue or house of assemble on the Sabbath to either read or listen to the scriptures. Now, apparently, if he could read the scriptures, he was seemingly not, what do you call it, illiterate? I'm not sure if that is the right word, but he could apparently read <laughs> if we go to the, uh, in regards of uh, the Gospels. Mm, Jesus calms the storms, Jesus walks in water. I'm a little hard on, actually I think I found a mistake here. Well, there's probably more, but Jonah the great fish is swallowing up Jonah after Daniel has been in the den. Now, I was thinking this, this seems wrong and I had like, you know, I had like a, a thing copied out here in regards of and glued it in the book in regards of when the prophets are because, you know, when they were and all that. And if I remember correctly, the Assyrians was around in regards of the days of Jonah and it would have been way before the Israelites was taken into Babylon. So, and according to this, Jonah lived, um, let's see here. Mm, so, and it doesn't really give an a, a entirely good date, but it, you know, you can see it's like uh, Daniel is here and it says 586 close to him. And then it goes back in time, uh, goes to 722, and then it takes Jonah further back. So that's at least over a hundred years, <laughs> you know. So that's, that's um, I'm not sure if this guy that made the program actually took it by the books. I'm not sure if the book of Jonah is after the book of Daniel in some of the, um, and then of course it depends, is it in regards to the, of, the, of, of the Greek way, uh, how to place the books, or is it in regards of how to, the Jews place the books. Here we have Job. No, it was not Job. This is Jonah. Where's Jonah? Uh, Jonah, apparently one of the 12 minor prophets, it seems. Uh, so, and where do we have? Yeah, in regards to the Greek, Jonah is actually after da the book of Daniel. Let's see in regards to the Jewish ways of doing it. So if he follows that, and that might be possible, you know, he might have. But here we have Jonah. Well, Daniel is also before the book of Jonah in the Jewish, it seems. So that's these are the two that I used. One of them uses the Jewish way, and the other uses the Greek way. So it's the same books, but it's in different order. Um, so, and the funny thing is that in regards of the book, I have, uh, according to a Jewish source, in regards to the books from Southworth, in regards of, oh, well, what, what was that land called? Um, let's see. Maybe we can get the country up here. Um, hmm, which map should we use? Just the Google. I probably should delete some of the other map programs I have. Um, I haven't really used them much. I just have them laying there. Usually I just use Google. No thanks. And let's zoom out because you know it's not that. But I was thinking if you know if at some point if I'm actually going to. But you know, I sh haven't driven a car in a long, long time. But it could be fun to test which program was actually best in regards of, you know, if you're driving or something like that. Um, they're all free as far as you know. At least if you. Not going to have multiple countries and all that. No, 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 no. What? A, this is Israel. Yeah, that's that's not the one. Okay, so the Israelites. Well, we could uh, could of course start up here. So the Israelites up here in the northern uh, place. 
um, you know, it was divided into two and you had Judah in regards to the south and you have Israel on the top, which had around 10 tribes or something like that. But some say it's actually got mingled afterwards because those that wanted to worship God turned south and, you know, eh, any, in any case, uh, before the Assyrians got into the northern kingdom and, and punished them, according to God, um, then... Jonah was, of course, there, and he tried to go to, and he actually get, went to the city of, let's see if he can find it, if I remember correctly, he went the other opposite direction, so he went to the city of, it should, should be very close here, let's see, ah, no, I'm not Ascalon, where is it, why is it not on the map, shouldn't it be here, maybe it's a little more north, Astor, Sean, or maybe it's over here, it's very close to the big city of... Yeah, it should be here. Hmm. It should be right here, actually. If this is... Uh, Jaffa! Oh yeah, here we go, Jaffa. Just... So Jaffa, as I understand it, was the old city. I think they also go to Jaffa in regards to the Book of Acts. If I'm not mistaken, at least, you know, you you know, I can make mistakes as, as well. I think it was Jaffa he went to, Job. You can reread that. I might make, I might have made a mistake here. As we can just check the scriptures just to be um, sure. Uh, you know, you, my brain is not always, and there's so many things to know and uh, study and, uh, where is the book of Job? So that would be nice with actually a book where you can just fix and just lift up and there you are. Uh, that would be a nice book to have, I think. You see Job 700 and... 700 and... Uh, there we go, okay. So let's see where he is. Now that's book of Job, I'm looking at the different false book here sorry about that it's of course jonah jonah i think was in hebrew means dove uh yep six three six hundred and twenty eight my brain is I, I probably need a break with my brain or something like that it's not really uh okay here we go uh that's obadiah hmm. jonah there we go yeah, he uh, went down to Yafo. Yafo. I think that would be Jaffa. Jaffa. Of course, we could look in the, in regards of uh, King James Version here. See if... It would actually have been a lot faster just to do it on the... On the, on the mobile. Why? 511, I think it was. So, it's... Actually, stupid that I'm doing it in this direct. I say okay. So where was it? Um, and that that great city, Nineveh, is also called that great city. So this is also one of the cities called the great city. As other cities that are called great cities, I think Rome is one of them. And you know, in regards to Revelation and the, um, and we have. I think Jerusalem might also be called that great city. So that's two. And then, of course, we have Nineveh. We have, I think we have others, but that's the ones I rem I think Babylon might actually also have been called a great city. You know, the real ba Babylon. But I can't remember. any case, uh, you can, of course, check that out. But it seems there's, like, you know, more great cities. Um, where was Yefo again? Oh, line three. Okay. So he went went down to Joppa. I think it's the same as Jaffa. I think it is. I'm not sure. But as I understood it, Joppa would, would be... And here it says Jaffa. So Jaffa, yeah. It sounds like Jaffa, doesn't it? Any case, so Jonah went down there and all that. Uh, but in regards of the different order of the Bible... We have a Jewish source, probably more than one, but a Jewish scholar saying that the same order of the books that they have in the Greek, the Jews actually had those fleeing to Yemen because before the Assyrians came, 
some Jews apparently fled to Yemen because they didn't want, you know, they knew the prophecies of God. And they didn't want to apparently be led, ast uh, led away by the Assyrians. So they went to Yemen. And later on, they fled, fled to, uh, later on, they fled to uh, India because of the Mohammedans. So, in any case, that was a little south side track, of course. I'm so tired, you know. Oh, well. So, if, as, I, as far as I can see, putting the card of Jonah and the great fish after Daniel has been in the den of lions is just totally wrong. Yeah, but it seems like actually if he's following the books, book order in regards of Daniel and all that, but it doesn't seem like that he that is actually what he does in regards of the rest. So I'm not sure. Maybe, you know, it seems he made a mistake at least. And I'm there's not the only mistake, I think. It might, you know, who knows who the guy actually making it. Maybe he's a Catholic. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, at the time when I bought it, I was thinking maybe it's a good practice in regards of things. Uh, the problem, of course, is if there's mistakes. And when you have Jesus in regards of when he calmed the storms or five loaves. And, and isn't that like three times or something like that, that he feeds the people two or three times? In any case... Uh, you have four witnesses stories and it's not always easy to so I'm not really you know so Jesus walks on water that would be according to one of the books I think he has just fed the people so that would have been after the five loaves and the two fish and I was correct so Jesus walks on water that would be the Sea of Galilee it has all the Sea of Type Barriers and has one more name here, yeah. but I think in regards to the biblical name Yeah, that's a good question actually. Ah, I, I can't remember. Oh So many things to uh, I'm not sure what's the first name it actually has in the Bible or what the Israelites give it actually But Tiberius, I think that was the Romans name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have uh, the sea of like this instrument thing uh, What was it they called it? Oh? But that the question is, is that actually the name of it in the Bible? Kinoa, was it Kinoa? The Sea of Kinoa? No, 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 that seems wrong. Kinoa, I, I don't know. I can't remember. Pro probably see it if one looks it up. Um, so Jesus calms the storms. Well, that would be, of course, I would guess afterwards that, you know, he's still... No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he was on the boat, but wasn't that like on, an, on a different episode? They have like the boat, so there's a lot of boat stories, you know, um, to travel around here and there. Um, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Um, hmm. Well, we can try, but I think it's wrong. I would think it would be actually be before. Yeah, 55. So that would be closer to Jesus changing waters into wine. So afterwards, he calming the storm. Yeah, that seems that's maybe seems more uh, agreeable. So have it. You have the twelve uh, disciples. Apparently, let's take that one. So the twelve disciples. That would of course be before all his things. Um, Jesus changes waters into wine. I would think it would be. 55 but maybe it's after healing maybe he sits it's let's see yeah he sets it after jesus heals the paralytic i can't really remember the all the order and all that so it's something to you know read more on and then we have ezekiel ezekiel i can't remember what it's called but it seems to have the god in it ill uh, you know being the singular form of God so it's of course I could look up what it means I have the it says it in the front of the book I think oh, of course we could look it out on the but anyway Ezekiel Ezekiel hmm of course one needs to find Ezekiel first here we have strength of ale 
That's in Hebrew. It's Echiskel, or something. Echiskel or Echiskel, Echiskel. I think it's Echiskel, something like that. Echiskel, strength of God. So, and we have the Ezekiel Valley illusion. I'm not sure why they call it illusion. Wouldn't it be more like a, like a, what do you say, a, a, a vision? <laughs> Um, so the question is, if it is it before Elijah, I can't really remember where. Again, I'm still I'm still battling in regards of when was this and that, and you don't really have that much info from the Bible. I would guess it would be here. Yeah. Uh, okay, but I'm not sure if that is correct according to the Bible. You know, we have different prophets and. Um, we can of course look at the timetable. I have that, but that that's not just, you know you you never know if they, they got something wrong. But you have to try to to do the best that you can, right? Elijah and Elisha. Why do we have Ezekiel? <laughs> According to this, Ezekiel is. It's just in regards to the period of the exile to Babylon. So Ezekiel is a, you know, a long time after Eliyah. Again, around hundred, at least 100 years, it seems. Before. So it's like a big period, at least. But it seems to still yeah, be after Eliyah, for sure. Uh, the ascension. But so that... And then of course Daniel, yeah, that would fit. But Jonah in the, and the great fish, no, Jonah and the great fish should be. That's a good question. Um, I would f let's see when Elijah was here. According to this, Elijah actually Jonah is after Elijah, so Elijah should actually be right there. According to this, because Ezekiel is in the future, Daniel's in the future as well, so he got that wrong. So that's because one could write to him about that. Um, again, jobs suffering. Uh, some places, jobs books here, and some places is there, and all that. Um, he might have used the the information from the Greek. Because Job's book have more information in the last part part of the book to tell when it is, and in regards to the line of his um, uh, the order of his family, that's found in the Greek uh, version of Job, and that of course puts puts uh, the placement in, in regards to when the book of Job would have been, you know, would have been. Um, happening and uh but of course i don't know if it's true or not but you know it's I, i'm not sure why there would be anything to doubt it in some sense um you could also look at the age of job and how old he got he got pretty old it seems i don't think we actually have how old he got but he got a lot of extra life to live in uh, of course, at that time, it's, it seems like he's actually getting these extra years compared to others. Yet, we know in the past they lived longer uh, than we do today. A lot longer. A lot longer, yeah. Uh, just after the flood, people could live, live a very long time. So, now we have one of the plagues of the ten plagues. And I have issues with that as well. You know, it's not easy. Uh, let's see. But I heard something in regards to this Joseph dream where the stars was Israel, but are the stars really the children of Israel at this point? I can't remember. I have to check that. But at least that's some of the th one of the theories in regards of the stars. Um, but it is, it is his brothers that are the chiefs, right? So anyway. But of course, it could still... Yeah, okay, I guess it could, but... Uh, mm. So you have the plague of blood, plague of frogs, plague of gnats, plague of flies, plague of livestock. And we actually have a wonderful Egyptian document about this, it seems, to be about that for, uh, at least. A uh, very interesting document. Uh, but as far as I can see in the numbers, the plague of locusts would probably have been after the plague of, of hail. 
and hail and fire actually if i remember correctly so that would probably be here yep so we have the plague of locusts plague of darkness and death of the firstborn that's in regards to the passover again i'm not sure about the order because i can't i haven't checked it compared to the bible and my memory is not that good in regards of here we have three cards of jesus or yeshua and that's a good question where they need to be uh the adulterous woman is the disputed history in some sense um i must say i i i thought it wouldn't I, I thought it actually was inserted later on but i'm not so sure anymore that it's not authentic um so one have to be very careful because the revenues or what do you call it they try to take everything you know this and that out of the bible and corrupt things and all that the catholic church really does her filthiness for sure on so many levels so i'm i'm not sure how i i would absolutely let the story be uh, in the yeah in any case more to study of course but the problem they do in the story is according to the book of moses both of the people committing adultery should be stoned and they only take the woman but of course in the story of the apocrypha book about susan i think she's called susan uh in regards to those two uh, disgusting uh, uh jewish leaders well you know we all do stupid things but they were false accusing her and in regards of the law of god you know whatever sentence this woman should have if you were found a false witness you are getting the same sentence and they did which was death if i remember correctly so they both were killed uh that was the righteous judgment of course because they false bear false witness so so that is one other story where they actually don't take both of them because they think the man has or they tell the people that the man have fled away so they only take her and kill her or want or want to sentence her to to death but of course uh, it becomes uh, on the head of the blood uh, the blood is on the two jewish leaders and i, I guess the jews would maybe not like that story um there's not really anything in the story as far as I know that actually goes against the Bible. So it still have the Jewish uh, theme and um, yeah. That's all the books that seems to actually have, you know, could be very much valued. At least it doesn't really go against anything um, in the Bible, I think. Um, but uh, yeah. In any case, I see Jesus' birth. So the baptism of Jesus or Yeshua, Yeshua is tested in the wild wilderness. You know, when people say in regards to Jesus, it goes back to the Greek apparently in regards to Jesus. But again, where does the Jesus in Greek come from? You know, why not just go back to the source? You know, so which is more correct, Yeshua or Jesus? You know, Yeshua. Um, so let's see, we have. 53 54 we have 55 which is an empty space um jesus changes waters into wine then what happened after i think zacharias would probably be there uh nope that's 63 okay oh okay okay so what's left adulterous woman um uh, i think that's in the book of this is in the book of John that that story is. I can't even remember. Um, I could be wrong, but let's try here. And again, I'm not even sure this program in itself. So this was actually 61. So this is after Jesus walks on water, apparently. Um, then here we have the story of Lazarus and the poor man. I have no idea where it is, but 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64 maybe six no 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 i don't think so no and not that maybe here yay we got it so that's after he walks on water apparently then we have jesus calms the storms and was oh that was before i think so that was 55 i guess that's in the beginning apparently yep 
according to this anyway. Then we have two of the Old Testament. The Old Testament is a little, little easier to find out when and where, I think. But maybe it's just me that needs to read more. The Moses and the Amalekites, that would have been after the Ten Plagues. And it seems to have been before the Decalogue was given. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, according to this at least. But that's the that's the thing. Every time you have secondary sources like this, you know, like a movie or game or something like that, you always have this where they take some, you know, they can take some freedoms in regards of what do you call it, free, whatever. I'm not sure. Um, and um, and they can make make mistakes as well. So it's always go better to just go to the Bible. But I thought, you know, you know, it's just. Maybe it can help me to, you know, get the order right. But Samson defeats the Philistines would be here, I think. Because it would be after Gideon and it would be before Shaol. So we have David and Goliath that would, of course, be after Shaol is made king. David is coming on the track. Then again, we have the adulterous woman. And these are apparently the last two, two ones. Hmm. I wonder what the program will do. I've never done the 70. Uh, every time, you know, it makes this error in the program and stops the time, which I think is actually pretty nice. And I would have liked the option because it's, you know, it's just training you yourself. And I, you know, I'm, you know, getting older and my head is not the, so I like the time to think about where it is, you know. Um, instead of fighting against time and again the more card you have the more you need to spin on the mobile to get to the place uh, so it's just um, so 70 69 and of course it has these crashes it has diff it has issues maybe it's in regards to the update of the system in itself but uh, see here Lazarus is raised from the dead so it has to be I think it's Zacharias here Okay, so that was Zacharias apparently. Uh, I think that's, is that the guy collecting money? Uh, then this should be XD61 after the rich man of Lazarus. So, and there we go. So what happens in regards to the program? Apparently nothing, but maybe the program itself have just, you know, maybe it sometimes do something when you do the, all the 70 cards, but uh, not in this, um, not this time, apparently. Um, but there you go, you have like 70 cards uh, from the light birth, water birth, earth birth. Beast birth, Adam and Eve, and Cain and Abel, Noah's Ark, Judgment of Flood, Tower of Babel, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, Isaac birth, and you know, it goes through it all, but again, I, uh, you know, it's some of the images, you know, for example, seems to be, you know, Isaac's sacrifice. You know, the angel have wings and this weird thing above his head. But just because it's an angel, a messenger, doesn't necessarily say it has wings in any way. A lot of angels in the Bible don't have wings. It's like this. It might actually be a satanic deception to, you know, in regards of... Because the word angel in Greek is actually just messenger. And Jesus was a messenger in regards of his father. Even if he was God, he was a messenger. Um, so if you just put in messenger, the word messenger just makes more sense for because when people hear the word angel, they think like these beings with uh, wings. So, uh, you know, you just have to be careful in regards of. Um, and the thing is that angel might actually have been, you know, the angel of Jehovah, you know, the, the special angel. Um, so, but in any case, I'm not sure in regards of the plagues either, in regards of the plague of blood, plague of frogs, plague of gnats, plague of flies, plague of livestock, plague of boils, plague of hail, plague of locusts, plague of darkness, and death of the firstborn. Usually I just remember the last one, <laughs> you know. Um, 
you know, it's not like that I can't, you know, remember the others, but I don't remember in what, what, uh, what shall we say, in what order they are. Uh, maybe in regards to the Plague of, Plague of Blood, but where that might be, uh, but all the others, I'm like, you know, I have no idea. So, but I guess the more you read the Bible, I guess the more you get to learn which order they are. And who knows if the order actually is important in some sense. Maybe something in regards to the future have some of the same things. I don't know. But I, you know, you never know what is, you know, God has his ways of, um, of fixing things. Um, So you have the kings and, and even in regards of Solomon, king of wisdom, well, he also corrupted himself. Again, in regards of job suffering, I haven't, I'm not sure what the Greek, I don't, but one can look up the, I'm not sure if it actually is in the Apocrypha or something like that, where I read the ending of Job, but it is very, you know, it doesn't seem like it would go against anything in some sense. It's just a, just telling when Job lived and in regards of his tree, of of when he is um, and it talks about him actually being the king of the ismaelites i think or something like that that's uh, something um so that's it's, it's it's interesting and of course they would also know about god wouldn't they in regards of coming from abraham and they should know something about god as well in their society so those that wanted to you know um, but it talks about him actually being a king in some sense uh which might make sense in regards of his wealth as well, but uh, I don't know. If anyone wants to look into that, you know, just search on Google and find it in regards to that ending. Um, and of course we have Jesus in, in different, but the thing is, if you, if, if you was, you know, if, if, <laughs> Yeah, if, if you needed to actually do it against the, the, the clock, you know, I can't do it anyway. I would need a lot more training for sure. And the program itself is uh, it's not that quick when you begin to have a lot of, lot of lots of cards on the table. Of course, there are ways of making the, cr the graphic a little worse and then making it more fluent. Um, that's one, I guess, one way of trying to make the program faster. Um, and maybe go in that direction. Anyway, that was pretty much it. Um, um, if anyone wants to, uh, you know, have the program, it's called, you can buy it on App Store. Um, I'm just trying to clean out in regards of my applications because I have so many applications and it's just, you know, um, let's see here. Nope. Uh, here we go. Bible history game. You know, so just trying to, and again, it's, I, I, as I see it, it's better to study the Bible than to, but you know, getting some inputs here and there and, and trying to get closer to the truth like, is, is, I guess, never bad, right? You know, um, so I also have like a, two Psalters, like song books of the Book of Psalms. But again, I'm not sure if, you know, um, you know, I, I'm not sure why. I'm, I actually have one more in regards to the PDF, and it was all. You know, it's it's in regards to the. You know, it's, it's the nice thing is it's like based on the Psalms of uh, the Book of Psalms, and, and being able to sing it. But again, I don't really have have used it much. And of course, the name of Jehovah is also found in these old soldos. And I have the other book as well, where the, so we have three Psalter books, older Psalter books, which actually have the name of Jehovah in them, but they also use the Lord a lot of times. And then we have like programs like, well, we have the Bible and, and that's like a, a trivia questions in regards to the Bible. And I guess that would be interesting if you want to see how good you, you know, you can take the book of Genesis, for example, and, and, and test yourself like a, like a school test in some sense. So if you read the book of Genesis 
and then you you know you can go and test yourself in regards of see how much you actually can remember in some sense uh, or get right according to the the test hmm so and of course I guess learn something by doing it when you you know when you have a mistake you have the Kleine Interlinear New Testament again I have a lot of Bible programs already as you can see my sword and Bible and I, I'm not sure why Android Android cannot actually turn the things around when you do this um, it seems to be a feature that should have been there but apparently not just turns the icons around you know how hard can it be and you know maybe there's some issues in regards of no it should it should be you know you should be able to do it you can just fix the you know the line up top and all that it's it's you know so shouldn't be it shouldn't be that difficult for them to actually make it a you know able to turn the things around here um so anyway we have my sword and bible bishop Bible Time and Bible Time Mini. I'm still not sure about these two last programs in regards to Bible Time and Bible Time Mini. It has some maps and all that, but you can't really... I just... You know, it's it, they are free. You know, like Bishop is free and, Bi and Bible is free. Um, my sword is in some sense free, but if you want all the features, you still need to donate to them. But, they, you know, it's, it is the best program on Android for the Bible, I think. So it's well worth it, I get, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, but I still still have the, you know, still have some issues in regards of donation and buying and any, any case, you know, donating to get something just doesn't seem like donating to me. Um, you have the Hebrew Lintolinia Old Testament and many of these things you have in my sort already, but in regards to the Hebrew Lintolinia Old Testament, it's just set up, um, I'll take this off. It's beginning to become pretty hot with the with the uh, cacao uh, thing, the hot cacao without sugar. Um, so you have the Genesis here, for example. And if it wants to turn the camera around, hello. No, apparently not. <laughs> Let's try this way and this way. There we go. And as you can see, you know, it just turns the the top, the top thing here. You know, I'm not sure why they haven't made it available out in the Android system as well. Anyway, here we go. Barashit bara Elohim et hashemayim ve'et ha'aretz. You have how you say it, you know, as well. You have barashit. Of course, it's a little, you know, they use a little weird you know this that's the thing with different programs in regards of hebrew when they use these different uh, ways of pronouncing something they have different ways of using different markers which doesn't really help for the person how to uh, it also seems like this actually have the musical notes things in it so you not only have the nikuts to fight with if you are new to hebrew you also have the musical notes to fight with but anyway, Barashit bara Elohim et Hashemayim ve et Haaretz. And it's really, you know, it's 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 pretty nice. Uh, it says it's a noun, it's a verb, it's a noun, it's a accent. I f I'm not sure accent thing. X. Not sure what that X is. X. Probably something else, but but accent. Uh, anyway, you know, a marker thing. Uh, uh, Hashemayim, you know, et Hashemayim the the heavens and the ed there you have the ed again in regards of the earth you know so and usually ha is the usually uh, some some places it seems like it's it would be a little weird to actually translate it the in english but anyway the ha aret so here we have two prefixes we have the and we have ha and we have aret so we have the you know, and the earth. And this ver, ha, is the, and aritz, it's, uh, is earth. So, ver and, ver ha, aritz. And then we have ha, yi, ta. And that's, again, I have issues in regards of how these, uh, you have the two dots, you can see the two dots over here. And it's like a shiva. I think it's called a shiva. And the problem with the shiva, is that sometimes it's like yeah and sometimes the shiva is like 
like you know you have the R sound here so it's like hey but this doesn't seem to actually be a hey here it's, it seems to be ha yita so you have three what is it syllables is it called syllables you have three syllables and not two syllables but if you don't know in regards of it's like is it like hey ta or ha yita it's like two syllables or three syllables. So I'm still having difficult with the when there's like these shavas in the in the words. But as I understand it, if there's like two shavas, then the first shava is is usually in the first word, and then the next one is a y, you know, so a syllable for itself. Um, it's a little. Um, so anyway, hayita tohu va va vohu and in regards to the birth you know you have the ver va and then you have a, a you know vav and then you have the birth here and the birth sometimes have a ver sound and it seems to actually have been the same thing in regards of old danish language or something like that you have b and and v looking very much alike i'm not sure i'm still need to learn more about that but um and also the P actually looks, but anyway, B and V in regards to the, the Greek is like uh, Vita. So the Beth is a Vita in Greek. I don't know if they had had any different things in the past, but uh, again, it seems the Danish also had some things going on with the B and the V. It's, uh, actually, they, 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 at least it seems like they're looking like. I might be wrong, but I'm still trying the best that I can. But in, in, in Hebrew, you have like this bet, and the bet is sometimes with a B, and sometimes it's a V. So the difference is the dot in the middle of it. Uh, there's no dot in the middle of this one, so it's like a B. And many of these, again, many of these signs that you can see, like these two signs above it, and you know, some of these things are not Nikut. They're not uh, red letters in some sense, you know. Um, what is red letters called? Uh, vocals? Is it vocals? That's true, that's the black letters and the red letters. I, I, didn't, I never came long, uh, further, apparently. Red letters. Children understand red letters, right? It's the red letters. So, so some of these things are actually uh, musical, pronoun you know, how to, and uh, it doesn't make it easier for the reader, I think. And I'm not sure if it actually is authentic. You know, some, it seems some believe it goes back to the uh, temple period of how to sing the Psalms, but I'm not so sure about that. Uh, it could be just be, I don't know. In any case, it's, uh, I know there's uh, this this woman, a Jewish woman, made some songs. Uh, I think it's like three or four CDs or something like that that you can. Well, it's uh, old, so I don't I don't think it was on CD at that time. But um, you, I think you can get them on the CD. It's a little hard to find, but uh, and she wrote a book about it. She was apparently a master in musical notes, whatever, and she apparently broke the code. Uh, it seemed, even if there might actually have been some that actually knew about it. Uh, in regards of the Jewish, um, you know, I have a, I have a, you know, that they might actually have known and just didn't want the information out. I don't know, but um, maybe not. But it didn't seem that was like happy for she actually uh, pointing these things out, but. But as you can see, it's pretty, the only problem um, I think I have with it is if you push something, it, you, you don't have time to read it, you know? Answer, point, avouch, spit, boast, self, call, and then it's just, oh, that's removed. Um, and I don't think the settings actually, maybe they have some show lemma tags. No, font size, no, strongs. Doesn't really have anything to, of course, this is open source as I understand it. So you can actually, if you know how to program, you could probably make an option for taking this, you know, that you actually need to push and then push again to get it away or something like that, you know, um, or make a longer time or whatever, you know, it's just, um, it's just annoying that it's just, you know, just needing to push all the time because you can't, you know, it's just, some of them is just how are you going to read all this before it closes down 
and now you need to push them again, right? So just having an option just to push somewhere on the screen would just be, you know, much better. Um, or an option to say, well, I want it to have to be 10 seconds. And if someone, you know, pushes other places, it closes down. It shouldn't be that hard to program, I guess. But I'm not a programmer, so, you know. But as I understand, this is actually free, open source. So you can actually look at the code and do whatever you want with it if you want to change anything. But again, it has these different signs, which apparently I talked to someone and he said it, it, it seemed to him and others to be an upgrade. I'm not sure if he's due or something like that, but I don't see it as an upgrade for the people that just wants to learn to read Hebrew because it makes it just more difficult for the person to, you know, because you need to know all the Nikuds to know that this is not a Nikud in some sense. You know, because if you don't know all the Nikuds, how are you know how are to you to know that it's just not a Nikud? And when if you try to, you know, it's just, it just doesn't make it easier for people, I think. Vayikra uh, Elohim, here we have like this weird uh, Pac-Man thing, uh, mouth, I think they called it in school. Um, you know, and actually, you know, eating something in that direction, whatever. I never really got the idea of that in regards of smaller, bigger. I, I always had issues with it. But in any case, you can see there's a sign that is not any good here. And I'm not sure what of, if that is also one of these signs. Um, it just doesn't make it easier. But I think it's the program was it's very uh, good to set up, you know. In regards of is you know, va va yomer Elohim Yehi that we have like where it has like every time Shiva is in the front of a word, as far as I understood it from the from some of the things I read, you have like ye. So this is Yehi. Um then Sarakia that would be the heavens. Or space, maybe. I think maybe space would be a good word to actually translate as space. But that's my, uh, you know, I could be wrong. But, you know, it is space, you know. We are living in space. This is space. This is not, it is, you know. Um, so anyway, in the mist, that would be betoch. Betoch. There we have the Shiva again. Betoch. But actually it says betoch. Toch. Betoch. A what? Betoch. Betoch. I'm not sure why it says Betoch and then WK. That would be interesting to look up what he actually does. Uh, Genesis 1 6, just to see if there's actually a mistake or something like that. So, this is my preferred Bible program when it works, and I need to uh, get it to work again. Uh, it has issues. Um, you know, having upgraded, I'm not sure when it actually began to break, if it was the upgrade of the mobile itself that made it. And I haven't really reset the thing after the update. And so sometimes it's not always a success story. And one thing is um, the search function here is not that I would have preferred that something I need to write to them, by the way. Um, the thing is, you can see when you, no, 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 let's go. When you want to go to Genesis 1 1 and there's standard, there's a dialer function, there's grid, and there's text. And text, I think, is actually the best way to do it. But the problem is, when you write something, actually, I'm not sure if that's usually, but let's say I'm, I'm thinking like this. The thing is, the bottom for select is down here instead of actually being up here. You know, one of the programs I have is very um, very much the same, but it has the bottom up here. So you, you can easily, if there's, you know, you, you don't need to, uh, you know, sometimes it seems like, you know, you're writing and you have the keyboard. I'm not sure why the whole keyboard, if I remember correctly, at some point that wasn't, you, you didn't get the whole, whole screen, you just got the keyboard to write. And the problem is you needed to, oops, I'm spitting on the camera, it seems. Um, the problem is, or the lens. Um, the problem is, oh, maybe I should take just a little. Um, mm. The problem is, of course, if you have the keyboard open, you need to close the keyboard to push the search thing. Um, and I know it can be made like you have the search function, so you can just, it's just quicker, you know, it's just, 
Uh, it's just, uh, I think it's just a little stupidity. But again, I'm not sure why now that the keyboard don't just come up. Maybe this is something they made in the, one of the newer versions or something like that. But uh, if I'm, or maybe it's because I have it on the side or something like that um, at the moment. But I remember it actually coming up with just the keyboard and then you would need to close the keyboard to actually... Uh, so there's something to write to them. Maybe they haven't thought about it. I It tends to seem that a lot of programmers don't think about these things but they're good at programming but usually these ideas apparently don't strike them so they just do what they do but um so let's see so sometimes when you get an idea it's like people are very happy about it. it's like oh yeah that's that's a good thing you know uh, and they just make it you know um see here and god said let that be it there we go so let's just fix that and go to the hey isb there we go it's really you know this one what are the wonderful things with you know having this program is that you have the whole you know it's not it's not like a, it has mistakes and all that some of these things you know um that's just how it is but it's free you know pretty much you know it, if you want some of the other features, you, you need to donate. But besides that, you know, I used it like two years bef before, you know, donating. <laughs> you know, I'm not, I don't know how to call it. I still think it's really a weird word to use for getting features. It seems like I was buying something. It's not like, you know, you know, if uh, that's another, you know, let's not get sidetracked. Mm. So, Vayoma Elohim. Yehi Rakia Betoch. So we have actually have Betoch. So there are actually only two syllables here. Betoch. But you see the musical notes as well. I'm not sure how, if, if you, you know, but uh, this weird thing, you know, uh, up here is a musical note. Um, so we have Betoch. So that's like uh, two syllables. And now I'm spitting on the camera again apparently sorry about that i guess it's in regards of you know <laughs> you know you you get some uh, you get some spit going apparently you know um i don't know I, I, maybe i'm i'm sitting downwards as well and i'm drinking so so vayoma elohim yehi rakia rakia betoch Hamayim vehi mavdil pain maya mavdil pain mayim le mayim. And you don't have the, you know, this program, you don't have it if it's a noun or if it's a this and that. And I still have issues with that. I was never good at that in school and I didn't really care about it much. I didn't really care about school much, to say the least. So, but. Um, I guess, you know, you had so much energy when you were younger, right? So, but then you're just getting to be put on the chair to sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there for like eight hours or something like that. It just seems insane to me. And of course, if people are, you know, if the children are like, uh, yeah, just give them some drugs, right? Because, oh, they must be unnormal to have all that energy. And I'm like, when we are like getting older, the energy is just done. You know, you don't have any energy. It's just getting, and if you have destroyed your body before time and all that, you don't have the energy to, you know, um, you feel tired and yeah. Anyway, uh, this society is just, uh, it's just... So it seems like actually it is, um, it seems to be actually only one, betoch. But apparently it's like, bit, they, I think they probably fixed it wrong here. Um, because it seems like, you know, just reading the Hebrew also, betoch. It's not, 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 uh, bit, uh, not, not three syllables. Bit, how do, how you would, betoch. Uh, uh, of course, maybe have something we can check. Let's see over here. Um, SD card. And let's go into, is it audio? Maybe it, oh, that was Android. Audio. 
Bible stuff. Let's see. Greek Tanakh. Now we want the Hebrew. Hebrew Tanakh. Um, I think I have two in regards to the Hebrew. Maybe, maybe only one now. Maybe I've cleaned some of them. Hebrew Tanakh. Genesis. Uh, would be, okay. That's, yep. So, let's see if it's the Hebrew. Not really any playing thing, is there? Maybe it can't play when I'm recording. Oh well. Nope. So, it's, but, you know, I could, you know, just nice to check if, um, if we got it correct and what program actually got it wrong and all that because you know there are mistakes in the different uh, versions so it's not like it's not but again it's the start and you can you know one can at you know you get corrected later on i guess so that was the hebrew lineage and i i haven't really used it much as such I guess I just thought it was, you know, very pre presentable, you know, uh, and you have the verb and a noun and a verb and a noun and a noun and a noun. And I'm thinking maybe I can learn something like Vayomer, that's a verb. And and said, you know, ver, you, uh, actually Vayomer. So that would be like a, a verb to apparently say something. Then we have Elohim, which is actually plural. I'm not sure if a noun can be plural. Maybe it can. See. Angels succeeding God Green yeah, but you don't really get more information apparently from this program. Then we have Yehi uh, Rakia. Ah, actually very nice that he uses the Q, I think. Uh here, because some use the K. And actually you have another letter that seems to be more in regards to the K. But it's, you know, Kia, it is a little of the same in regards of, but it's nice to differentiate, I think. La Kia, so again, I would probably translate that to space, but that apparently is a now one. So let that be, Yehi, let that be a, f a firmament, a space, you know. Um, and I do wonder if that is actually singular or plural as well, because it might actually be singular in regards of space, just but the heavens are plural, so that, you know. Um, anyway, in the mist, betoch, that's a noun, betoch, in the mist, okay. Hamayim, mayim is the waters, and they actually use the plural form as well, very nice. So it is the waters, and he says actually off the waters, but as far as I understand it, it's just, maybe it's from the other word. I'm not sure because, but anyway, maybe it just tries to make it readable because you have ha, uh, which is the the. So you have hamayim, and because it's like a dot in the mem, it's like you have the hamayim. So you have ham mayim, uh, I think, you know, uh, I think it says the usual thing when it's, um, there are different rules in some sense of these um, so you have vi he that's a verb apparently let uh, ma uh, that's the problem here we here we go with the shava you see the shava the two dots so it's like if i'm just only looking at the hebrew i'm just putting a finger over here so uh is it like mavdil or is it ma the deal you see is it three syllables or two syllables and he says it's mavdil, so it's only two syllables. So here we actually have the sh uh, sh the word the 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 letter with the shava actually being in the same syllable. I think that's the right word, right? Uh, being in the same syllable as the mem, which is the first letter. So you have the mem and you have the beth, which is a veth because it doesn't have a dot in it. Uh, and of course, that's you know. <laughs> In regards of having, a, I think there's two kinds of dots in the middle. I just, you know, you just need to, to you know, read some of these training Bible things and, and just go from there. And it will get sorted out over the time, I guess. We could also look at the other program here. 
which is Hey ISB. I've talked with the creator of the Hey ISB, and he knows there's mistakes, but it didn't seem to him that he wanted to correct anything in the module. Uh, maybe he's making a new module. I'm not sure. Uh, I wanted some help from him, but he, uh, you know, he's writing back, and I'm, sh you know, he's giving sources and all that, and but I'm like. Uh, he might be like a scholarly guy, you know, and I'm like look, he, he down here in regards of the... <laughs> so it's, you just sit there and you read it and it's like, and he says, oh yeah, it's just easy this. And I'm like, yeah, maybe easy for you. <laughs> um, and I'm like not knowing what really and yeah. But anyway, he, he responded twice to me. So that's really nice. But I haven't really, it's really, I should respond to him again. Um... But I'm just sitting there, oh yeah, easy for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, it would be nice if I could actually talk to him to get me going with some of it, how to set the things up. Um, so one could try to make a little in regards of, the setup in itself would be the, I guess the hard things to do. And, and he has a very, you know, he has the best, one of the best setups in regards to the program, the mobile program. And I guess if, you know, if I wanted to make something, uh, you know, trying to make something on my own in some sense, it, it would probably be the, the mobile version that I would begin with because that I have with me, right? You know, you always have the mobile with you. So anyway, by Yoma Elohim, and I always get some training in the Hebrew as well. If I need to read or write some Hebrew as well, you know, who knows? And give me some training on on that as well. So that would be uh, I I don't want all these musical notes. I don't think that would be a you know it doesn't make it easier for the person reading it uh, that just that you just wants to read it you know uh, in regards of it just makes it harder. Vayomer Elohim Yehi Rakia Betoch. Oh well, well, so he was like uh, the next one, right? Or something like that. One seven. Let's see where we are. Um, Hamayim. Where were we? I was looking for something and now I forgot. Yo, Macom. Uh, it's number nine. Okay, so we go to number nine. There we go. Maybe I should put this over here. Or something. It's a little big. Maybe I can. Yeah. There we go. Um, it's not important to see me anyway, but it makes it a little more personal, you know. Um, and said. Elohim, uh oh, yik, yikavu, yikavu. Let that be gathered together. Aha, hamayim, mita, mit, mit, mitzachat. I think, yeah, mitzachat. That's the way he also ham hashemayim el makom. Here he does it again. Makom. Why does he put a a maga there, you know, ma 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 ko um or ma ko vim, ma ko vim, ma ko vim. That's like is this? I'm not sure why he does that. It doesn't seem to. Maybe he didn't know or something like that. I don't know, but it seems weird that ma ko vim, ma ko vim. Hmm. Now, I do understand that's like I had this program. Uh, I haven't bought it or anything. Of course, there's a thing that's free version as well in regards to the Hebrew. And they have like three pronunciations, ways of pronunciation uh, in regards to the uh, Hebrew and all that. But anyway, Vete uh, Rae. He has the, all the pronunciations and E. And the Te Ra. Okay. So V and then we have the Shiva, so it's like V T R A E. Uh, the next one is Hi. Uh oh, then we have the actually a dot in the Yod, so it's probably Hey, um, Ya, and there's a dot again, so the it seems actually to take the B with it. So Hey Ya, Hey Ya, Basha, Hey Ya, Basha. So you have the B again two twice apparently. Hey Yapasha. Hey Yapasha. Hey Yapasha according to this anyway. 
uh, it's interesting in regards to the Macomb thing, why he would, you know, uh, Macomb, Macomb, does, it seems to be too sus, like he says here. Sadly, um, I would have used the Q instead of the K, but he's using a program to do it as far as I understood it. And he has the link for the, on, on the website, the Hey ISB website. I would have used the Q instead because you already have a letter that seems to be a K as calf. Um, so if the calf is already a K, well, the Q um, would seem to fit the, what is that letter called? Uh, I can't, it's just above my head at, at the moment. Uh, what's it called? Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dali, Hey, Bav, Sain, Ret, Tet, Yor, and I'm getting into trouble. Um, I don't think it was one of the, what is it called? Co, co, no, no, no. Let's see if we can find out. Still nice to have the programs to see here. Um, just some, this, this program has helped me, a, you know, a lot in regards of, you know, checking things. Uh, the Aleph bed, I tend to forget the and you have the curve, yeah, of course, curve. And as you see, he actually writes it with a Q. And if you see in regards of the calf, half or calf, the first one, calf with the dot in it and a half. So calf or half, and that would be the K. And I think actually this would probably be better with a CH, half, but maybe there's other uh, in regards of the chet, so if you wanted to distinguish in regards of, you know, that might be, uh, hmm. I'm not sure how how you could do that, but that's something I wanted to test out and something, you know, to, to get all the pieces together in some sense, just make a trial in some sense, a page or something like that, Genesis 1, 1 or something, or, no, no, Genesis what, chapter 1 or something like that, and try to see how you know how things could be fixed in some sense um well maybe i need a break from it all pretty much because uh my brain doesn't seem to be working really good um that's, again there's so many things in regards to the hall in regards to rome what is going on in the world and prophecy in the future what is going to happen and mm, a lot of things are going on in, in, in our times and there's so much things that we don't know that they have made us not know about. Hamayim mit tahat mit Yeah, there we have you have the chat in regards to the ch. So maybe maybe the calf, you know, the calf half. I'm not sure how you would make it so you distinguish without using too many of these extra uh, um, yeah, and it's still making it distinct distinguishable from the from the other chut, which is called chut. So it's just anyway hashamayim it doesn't make it easier when the when the same letters have different uh, ways to you know to say it hashamayim el makom echad Vet rae vet oh wait 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 and there I would actually have fixed an a and an y instead vet rae because it's 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 a it's like vet vet some some say like an e e and an i but t like hey I know hey is like an e and a y but hey is set set like an a right hey a hey yeah. It's not like set like an E, like he, he, it's hey. Yeah, anyway, it might be just a minor thing, but anyway. Ha, oh, it's like actually hey. Hey, yabasha, and then you have the I in regards to the yod here. Hey, yabasha, and let the dry land, I'm not sure when in regards to the land, that's yabasha, yabasha. Dry land or dry ground. Um, hey, Yabasha, Vehi, uh oh, see here, Vehi, Chen. Now you have the Chen, but you have a, a, a you know, um, not a calf, but a 
half uh, without the dots in it. And you have the ren. You have the two dots, which is an a, like like hey ren, ren. So, so I think some of the you know that's just my prefer. You know, I wanted to to be as easy as possible for the person to. Well, of course, I, it might be minor things, you know, but Vajikra, uh, here we have Vajikra and you have the Yod where it's pretty much twice used, Vajikra. Uh, I think it's like and, right? To call and called or something like that. Anyway, Vajikra Elohim and that's plural, so I would change that as well as far as I understand it in regards to the plural form of God. It's Elohim, it is not it is not El. El is singular, Elohim is plural. La Yabasha, and that's 4 or 2, I think, in regards to this a prefix, La. Uh, so Yabasha with a, with a, with a prefix, um, and that would be 2 or 4, the dry land. Uh, Ule Mikve, that's the Mikve. When they have a Mikve, a mikveh is a collection of water. That's a mikveh. And they use it already here. It's very nice. Ule mikveh. And you see the ver. So that's and again. But sometimes the ver changes in regards to how you pronounce it. It can be u or ver or, or v, I think also. Yeah, v. So you have u, uh, ver and v. That's at least three ways of saying Something which is actually the same in regards of and. It means and, but it's like the or u or. Let's oh, see. V, u. Wait, 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 wait. Am I getting this wrong? Let's see. I might be, I might be getting some, uh, some problems here in regards of. Uh, but it's like ule mikve. Yeah, but it's still and. You have E, don't you have V? No, 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 wait, wait, why do we have V, E? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's thinking, thinking, no, no, that's actually, no, no, yeah, 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 that is, it is E, but it's like, uh, yeah, it's like U and, and V and, and U and V and U, V, uh, and V, and V, yeah, okay. So U, V, and V, yeah, there we go. Uh, but it means the same thing as far as on, uh, you know, it's just a prefix for and. But it depends on what word in regards of how it's pronounced in the first letter, how you actually fix it. Yeah, it doesn't make it easy, doesn't it? It's not easy. Uh, and here we have mikveh. It should be in regards of a collected mass. Like when the Jews call a mikveh. Mikveh. What is a mikveh? This is where a collection of water is. Not sure why they actually uh, haven't actually, uh, here we go. Also a collection that is of water, a pound or, you know, it's a collection of water. You know, they use the, the Jews use the mikveh today, you know. Mikveh is like a, yeah, mikveh, yeah. You know, you, you go out and see the mikvehs they had uh, in Jerusalem and so forward. So we have uh, ule mikveh hamayim. So of the waters, a mikveh, a collection of the waters. And kara, that's apparently called, it seems, kara to, if, you know, sometimes this is just the Strongs. I have other programs in regards of, and there's a lot of expensive things in regards of getting a dictionary and all that. I'm just using the free ones, that's, um, but that different, uh, this is the primary Strongs light, but the SEC is actually also pretty nice. I would be nice if I could actually make it the program to to use both of them at once in some sense. So I had so I had the first the so first the strong light and uh, strong light and then second then the this one uh, because it actually is also the problem with the strong light is also that it doesn't have the nikuts in the in the word. I think that's you know it's it's not but. You know, so you have two of them, and one is, in some sense, uh, you, know, you can use them both, some, and, and that's, the, that's the thing. To call, to call out, recite, read, cry out, and so forward, okay. And you also have in regards of, 
some of the things it seems to maybe have been translated to in Greek. That's a lot of words for one Hebrew word to be translated to a lot of words in Greek, it seems. Kleos, let's see. Loki somai or something like that. Um, and it's the same thing in regards of when you have uh, our um, translations where, you know, they translate a word in English, which is actually only one word in Hebrew, yet they translate it to different things in the, in the translation. It doesn't work for me. You know, if you can use one word for one Hebrew word, why don't do that? Maybe, maybe because they didn't have the tools we have today or something like that. But uh, I'm not sure how, how terrible it is with some of the new Bible programs. But then, of course, they use the revised and they take out things from the Bible here and there. And so it's not very nice. But there is one version that seems to be like, you know, having the strongs as well. And it's actually also free besides the King James version. It's not for my sword. I don't think that my sword has it. Uh, or maybe you need to pay for it or something like that. Um, there are some of the two. No, no, sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Sorry. That's my. S yeah. Sorry. My, my, no, no. I don't think that's. No, no. I don't think they actually have anything that you buy directly from them. I have some. I have a paid module in regards to the, of the Aramaic. And. They're still working on the Aramaic. I still would very much like the Aramaic. Also with uh, accordance with it. I think it's called accordance, you know, where you can see behind it uh, the words. And yeah, it actually is fixed in regards of the New Testament, I think. Yeah, but still the setup of it is still bad, I think. But in any case, uh, uh, could be a lot better for sure. Um, here we have uh, English standard version with Strong's numbers. And I've been looking, you can actually buy a book where it's 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 pretty good set up, I think, uh, as far as I remember. But in the beginning, and then you have the word in, in uh, oh, it comes over over here, okay. You have uh, the receipt, so you actually still have, you can still have the text here, nice. And, uh, hmm, I haven't really tried much. Uh, why does it actually do that? That's weird that it pushes it. No, anyway. Um... So you have the strongs over here, and I think it's just the standard strongs. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, find all the currencies. Index is quote. Indexes may be downloaded from the internet or created locally. Downloading much quicker, and download index have more search. Downloading much much quicker, and downloaded indexes have more search features. Why does it have more search features if you download? Okay. Well, just, just download it if it's better, you know. Um, you know, I'm not sure why it would be more features. But in any case, and why would anyone like to create it if it actually... So it gets a list, apparently, of some of them. Okay. Anyway, um, so you have the same words here it's usually it's just hey before it and they don't have hey before this maybe it's to save space you know uh, you know it's hebrew you know or sometimes it's aramaic of course but it looks pretty pretty good in any case it's free from from that program uh which is called and bible that's number two on the list and bible um I haven't again I haven't used it that much but at least it you know it's free it says you know it's, it's working pretty good on my mobile anyway Bishop issue is also uh, uh, pretty pretty solid in regards of running pretty good on the mobile and uh, refresh what is going on have I restarted this program or something like that or maybe what is it doing? I have already have models installed. Or maybe... Uh, go on, let's take some... Oh, it's because uh, I don't have any models at the moment that I actually have that place. So here we have the Bishop Bible. And as you can see, it's actually... Um, and let's just take the toggle notes off. But as you can see, it can actually run three Bibles side by side. And that works actually pretty good. 
uh, and it's 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 not slow or anything you know uh, it's it's running pretty quickly and I have used this a little just a little not really that much but just a little in regards to first John 5 7 and I found out that some of the Danish versions actually corrupted um, not only first John 5 7 but some of the Danish versions actually had another issue um, where but I deleted those versions so I don't have those versions I was like you know uh, why would I have those versions? but it was nice to see that there was some thing going on again you know um, but that's a program as well in regards to the Bible time thing they don't really run that good on on the mobile but again you know the programs are free and they are creating and so forward Safari is like a Jewish source I think um, it has it has some of the sources that I don't ha have on other Bible programs at the moment. But of course, the Bible programs is growing. Everything is growing here and there. So you never know when when some of the sources is actually going to come up, come come over in. Uh, but it's some of the. I, I, uh, they haven't translated everything it seems, but some of it they translated some of the targums I think, um, but not all of, all of it. But any any case, it's. I haven't found the Targums for the other things and Targums are like old Jewish uh, f talking about different scriptures and uh... No, 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 wait, wait, wait Is it the Targums I'm talking about? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's No, no, wait, 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 Babylonian Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait Oh, my brain What is it called? Targums? It is called Ah my brain, my brain, my brain. Uh, let's see here. Let's just go in and check it out then. Um, Saf Safari. Let's see here. Uh, go back here. Ah, I didn't want to go all back. Uh, let's see if we can get to the... Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, calendar. No, 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 no. Oh, give me a break. I think it's in the Tanakh search. Oh, yeah. The other one was Talmud. Yeah, it's not the Talmud. It is the Targum. So I think I got it right. And you can see down here, Targum. And I don't think the those sources are from the are not in the other Bible programs that I have. So at least if I want to look into them at some point in the future, I have the Targum, Aramaic Targum, Onkelos, Tafsir, Rasak, Targum, Jerusalem, Targum, Jonathan, and Targum, Neophyti. There are some other sources on the internet doing, having these as, as well, and things are growing, of course, these days. Um, but anyway, it's just, um, yeah. So, a lot of things are going on in our days, that's for sure. But uh, just to see, you know, th they might be helpful in some other things uh, in regards of maybe the name of God, for example. If to verify some of the places uh, that was taken out and so forward. Anyway, Hamayim, Kara, Yamim, as like Vaya, Vaya, apparently Vaya. So you have the yod set set twice, but you as you can see, there's like other signs in it that doesn't really help. All these musical note signs and all that. So you don't really say the 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 last letter in some sense. It's just there. Uh, Elohim ki tov, vayoma Elohim tache or she, actually tache because it's the two dots. So if you look at here, it's like Tatshe, but it's actually Tatshe. It's different from the other sh. Here we have the other sh, the sh. That's like a sh, you know, the sh. You can see it, there's the and sh. That's the, 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 the E sound, the e, uh, the the sh. So, and this has two dots, so it's different, it's sh. As far as I understand it. Now again, there's more dialects apparently of Hebrew, so 
So here we have again isa isev, but again that would be a sev as far as I understand because it's two dots a sev. So you have the two dots and you have the three dots and the three dots is like like serve. So you have the er, uh, you have the the three dots er, uh, and the two dots a. So a sev. Masriya, Matsriya, 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 Sara et Peri, Ose Peri, Lemo, Lemi, Mino, Asher Saov, Vo al Haaretz, Vahichen, Vatose Haaretz, Deshe, Esev, O Esev, Mat, Mat, Matsira, oh, ma sorry, Matsria, Matsria, Sira. I should read the Leminehu. And there you go, you have to, you know, you have only have the E here. So you don't really know it's like Leminehu. So, Ve'etz, again, you have the E, but it's like the Ve'etz, as far as I understand it. Anyway, I, I'm still a newbie in Hebrew and all that, just. Uh, just interest, you know, just just a thing that I would probably have fixed into it. Oh, well, actually, they have vehi here. That's that's you know, it's a little weird that he uses vehi there uh, because usually he says he uses the I when when there's a yod, right? But that actually looks pretty good. Vehi, vehi. That would be the. You know, because you have the yod afterwards, so you still have you know, vehi, vehi, vehi voga yom sheli shi, sheli shi, yeah. Vayomer Elohim yehi me orot, me orot, biakia. And here we have the uh, the path, and it's in. So it should be in regards of the rakia, it becomes bikia. So and sometimes there's also an hay that gets uh, that gets uh, hidden apparently. If there's another prefix in front of it, the hay gets away, but the sound is still there from the hay. Or from yeah, from the hay. Has ah, so many many weird rules and all that, and I. You know, I can't remember. It's a long time since I researched, but of course, you know, you grow in regards of things as as things goes by. Hashemayim lehavdil pein hayom uvein, and then he actually uses the I again. I'm not sure why he would use Y one time and and uh, you know, what do you call it? I and what and I? Why do you have the Y and the the I, the Y, the Y and the I. Oh yeah, it, it just doesn't seem to to get easier to. Um. Oh, of course, U Uvein. It's not that you can still read it, you know. Hale. So here we have one of these words with Hala Yila. So according to this, you have four. Um, what shall we say? What was it called? I can't even remember. There we go. The brain is working not that great. Um, uh, sim, sim. I can't remember. Anyway, you have four of them in any case, you know. But the, the question is in regards to the Shiva, if it actually has to have, you know, if it's actually lay or la yi la. And it seems like it's ha la yi la in this instance, according to this, anyway. You could probably. We could take the other program and see what this wants to say. Let's see here. Uh-oh, not that program. Oh, I don't even have it in my... Uh... So, which one was it? That's a good question. Um, number 14. I'll go to number 14 now. Yeah. So, Vayoma Elohim Yehi... Yehi me orot bi kia ha shamayim le havdil bein hayom uvein halai. I see halayila. So again, he agrees with the four 
Oh, I just had the word. It just snapped away again. Uh, syllables. Yeah, syllables. So it has four, he says it has four syllables as well here. The hey oo. The hey oo. Hmm. The hey oo. Nah. It's not. Uh, but again, it has the verb, prep, noun, prep, noun, verb, noun, 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 noun. So, and year seems to be a noun, day seems to be a noun, season seems to be a noun, sign seems to be a noun, and let them be, that's a verb. Then we have the night, it's a noun, and from is like a prep, prep something, prep what, prep, I'm not sure, preposition or something like that maybe? Preposition. It seems there's like three different kinds of words. Prepos uh, verb, noun, 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 verb, preposition, noun verb and adjective I think it is an adjective but again there's a lot of things that I didn't really follow along in school you know so verb noun accent or something like that noun noun at at your tent or something like that. accent it would be nice with like a help thing in regards of it um, I could probably look it up on the internet but these things I should probably have known from my school thing but I didn't really Again, I've been paying attention. I wasn't really much in school in some sense. It was a really, uh, yeah. Maybe that was actually a good thing because, you know, you know in some ways, but bad in others. <laughs> um, verb, noun. I guess in school you probably learn to become, you know, just to, to accept everything as truth, you know. Um, Verb, accent, noun, verb, 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 accent, noun, 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 verb, noun. Verb, noun, verb, noun, noun, ex, 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 or something like that. Hmm. Noun, act, agent, noun, 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 verb. Hmm. Anyway, so, uh oh, we got to the beginning of it. And the terrible bad ending, because it's not the end of this chapter, um, in regards of the, you know, it continues in chapter two, actually. It's just, you know, you really have to wonder some sometimes of these people that made uh, chapters and all that. So, how much wine they were drinking or something like that. Um, and just in the first chapter, you see a problem, you know. Anyway, um, let's see here. Way here we have the Shiva, where it's like they cool, lil, cool, cool. Actually, that's like an E, right? Coolio. That's weird. Let's go over to the other program and have a look. Again, I should probably just, you know, delete the other program in some sense and just keep with this one. Uh, here we go. The Hulu. Oh, so again, this is apparently one of the musical notes, it seems. I could actually check in regard. I think it's one of the musical notes. Really annoying, you know. Really annoying with these musical notes. Let's go to QuickTime Bio. This is the only reason why I have this is because of the uh, of it doesn't have the musical notes. And it's really, really nice to read it, you know. Barashit bara Elohim et hashemayim et haaretz. It's clear. It doesn't have all these musical notes. It's like ve haaretz. Oh, how was it? Hayita. There was like three syllables, right? Hayita to who? Va vohu ve chosech al pene te 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 whom ve ruach Elohim me ra refit al pene hamayim so you see you don't have all these musical notes annoying you or anything and the program also runs pretty and that was in regards of also the search function i think this was the program where if you actually search on something in the english maybe i should actually take the 
King James. The only reason I have the King James here is because you need to have one Bible apparently, so you can't delete the King James. But let's search on Lord, for example. That should be there for nearly 7,000 times, right? And you just search it. Wasn't that easy? You know, you just write it and... But no, no, I'm thinking about other thing in regards of the... Here we go. Um, direct. Yeah, there we go. There it was, you know, direct. This, you know, as, as you can see, it's it looks like the other program in some sense. You have the grid where you have... Uh, Shemot, Vayikra, okay, so you have the uh, Barashit, I think, here, at the beginning, but yeah, I'm not sure why they translate as, it should be, they should be Barashit, but it seems like it, maybe it's a short form of it or something, Shemot, Vayikra, uh, something, um, and Dava, and then we have Yehuda, then we have uh, that would be Shafat or something like that in regards of judges. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, Ruth, Ruth, maybe Ruth, Ruth, maybe it's just Ruth, um, and so forward. So you have it in he in Hebrew. I'm not that good in regards to the Hebrew titles. So, but anyway, you have the Dila as well. So that's some of the things where the other program. But this is this is the thing, you know. And again, I'm not sure why it jumps up. I don't, I don't think it actually did that beforehand, but let's just try to write um, Genesis, maybe just Genesis. That's just, okay. Um, oops, a done. Uh, and there we go. So it, it, you don't need to close anything down, it just gets to it. Uh, well, I actually didn't get to it, did it? Uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm still on, 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 sorry, I'm still on another place here. Let's try again. We are, okay, so find in King James. No, I don't want to find. I'm getting into the wrong place. Let's try again. Direct and Genesis. Mm-hmm, done. There we go. There we go. It worked now, it seems. I think, and let's try again just to make sure it works very quickly. So let's take uh, numbers, numbers, and say done. There we go. As you can see, it's just very, you don't need to close down the keyboard or anything like that. So I really like the way how this program is set up in regards to that. And I would like to see that in the other program. So. I should probably write them and s tell them, you know, um, and maybe they would make it, you know, um, because it is seemingly the easiest just if you want to go to a book instead of, uh, at least it's, you know, at least, if, if, you know, I've used different ways of trying to get the books, but it, uh, I like that the most, it seems, you know, where you just write it and you can get it to the, di the, you know, get to it directly, just write it and go to it. Uh, and sometimes it actually begins to, you know, it only has so and so many options, right? So you don't need to read it, uh, write it all. So let's see here. Uh, we needed to go to chapter two. And Vajita Pear. Vajita Pear. I'm not, again, is it V or is it a Pear? Oh, we, we were looking for something, wasn't we? Again, I can't remember what we were looking for. Uh, oh, yeah. Vehulhulu. Vehulhulu. Genesis. Hmm. Ve. Why? Uh, uh, am I in the wrong. I think I'm in the wrong Bible here. Grid. Let's try and bear sheet. Now we get the bear sheet. Uh, here we go. Ve rulu, and there you so that you don't have any musical notes in it. So you have the 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 ve rulu, and apparently the ve and the yod is apparently going together here. Um, which again is one of these things. I'm not sure how to. Um, as far as the beginner book, I was reading about it, and they said you know if it's in the beginning, it's uh, you know an er. Uh, 
if there's two side by side which doesn't really happen that much but then the first one is usually with the word like also here vehulu but it's you know where it's just only once in regard so the first one is usually collected with the for you know the the letter before it but they said it's not always like that apparently so but it seems to be the most standard or the biggest chance to get it right if you do that um, so it's just but as you can see you have let's see zoom in zoom a little more that's apparently the oh that was maybe too much yeah, there we go you see you have the you have a you know we have the valve here which is the long thing and then you have like this thing in the bottom that's the R sound and then you have the yod which is like this little one over here up here and then you have two dots downwards and that's normally you know uh you know the uh the uh sound um and then you have a, a half which is this one and it doesn't have a dot in the middle of it so it's a half not a calf yeah it's it's still the same letter in some sense but it's it's a half instead of a calf <laughs> So, you pronounce it differently. And then it has three dots underneath it, so it's a ooh. And then you have a lamet with a dot inside. So I'm actually not sure if you actually need to hulu. Maybe it's actually two L's in some sense. I need to check that out. But then you have like this weird thing underneath it. And that's probably a musical note. Because it doesn't belong there if you just... So, you need to discount that, but it could actually look like an E sound, like, you know, but it's an O sound here, so that's really odd. So, <laughs> so again, I think these musical notes doesn't really help on anything, you know. The Jews might like the, these musical notes, but I think those trying to just read Hebrew and learn Hebrew, it's just, uh, it's, it's just, more problems you know i don't i don't understand it's it's not necessary for them to be there or at least make an option so you can take them all for on you know so so that would be one thing i would yeah i can't anyway at, at this point i can't see why it would be any you know plus to have them i can only see it's it's a negative thing for for newcomers in regards of the and again, it's mis if it's musical notes, how to, you know, say things and all in regards of the flow or whatever. And again, I'm not even sure these are originals in regards of, so, um, so that's, some say it goes back to the temple again. I don't know. In any case, how many of us are actually, you know, interested in, uh, you know, how many of us need them? That's the thing, you know. Um, if you're if you're trying to learn Hebrew and study the Bible and all that, why would you? Any, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't. Um, as far as I go, um, so I like this version. It's very nice. You don't have all these things to distort your your ways of uh, of it. Let's see how they actually translate it. If it's yeah, they actually have ve ku lu. So that is it's actually two L's here. And that's probably because there's a dot in the lamet. Usually the lamet doesn't change in regards of having a dot or not in regards of saying it. Uh, as far as, you know, uh, are, yeah, some words have different variations of sounds, but not the lamet. But when there's a dot, sometimes in some of the other letters, it's because you need to say it twice, you know, you, so, well, maybe you could say it's a difference, but it's not in, in regards to the difference of the word in itself of how you say it, but of course it's still a lamet. It's still the L sound. It's just twice you have it. Mm. So, ve hul again. What is having ve hulul? And actually, it, it looks a little different in regards to the musical notes here. They have a dot and they have this weird thing. So that seems a little different than from the other program that we had where they had like a, you know, a round, you know, looking like a, you know, a moon or something like that. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't really help. 
So uh, maybe I'm just nitpicking in some sense. I think that's called nitpicking, right? Ve roll roll ve but again it just it just because it looks like an e so you just like ve ve you're nearly saying ve instead of and it's like but it's actually ve so again ha shamayim that's the plural form of of heaven so the heavens and he actually wrote it very nice very we like we like you know thumbs up for that ve and the earth, the, and that's some, sometimes it's the whole instead of the even if it's an A sound. So I'm not sure. He actually have an A with a thing over it. And that's one of the Nakuts that actually is with a Shiva, which also is an O sound. I didn't know that. And I found one example of it yesterday, but where it actually, yeah, it's, it's an O sound. I was like, hmm, okay. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Here he he's translating this vichol. So it is the O sound, but the other version here has like just an A with something over it. So it's like hmm. But that should be said vichol as far as I understand it as well. Uh, seva am, seva am, and a vast array. So we have verb, we're finished, and a noun, the heavens, the earth is a noun. And all is a noun apparently also, and vast array is a noun. Hmm. I have verb, noun, noun, adjective. I think seventh apparently is an adjective. His work, and then we have a P R T, which I have no idea what that is. Verb, noun, adjective, noun, preservative maybe. I'm not <laughs> which I I'm not sure. Which I say I share. A share, a share, a sa, which he had made, and this is actually the ending of the first chapter, you know. But yet they still have it in the beginning of the second chapter. Um, it's terrible. Um, here we have the yod with the shiva again, where it's actually collected together. So it's ve ba ve ba rech Elohim et yom hash. V E Vai and then probably together again eh? yeah Vai Ka and that's uh Vai Ka Desh Vai Ka Desh Oto Ki Bo Sha Shavat Mik Michol that's probably Michol again but it's he said oh oh Mik Mikol Mikol Mik mikoch mik mikol mikol mikol. It's like two case. Mik kol mikol mik kol mikol. I think it's when we can of course check it. It's like uh, two three two three. And of course, I have someone that actually reads it in 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 Hebrew as well. So you could actually sit with it and the Hebrew uh, running in the background and follow along and. Just hope that he gets it right as well in regards of pronouncing it. I had to... I still have one reading of the Psalms, but one of them was a so-called rabbi, a Hebrew rabbi, and just something in me just doesn't like listening to this guy. Uh, the, the other one was a, a Christian. Uh, it didn't seem so a spiritual offensive. I'm not sure what is going on, but it was not... I didn't, I, you know, it just seemed dark in some sense. <laughs> and, 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 you know, how he, yeah, it, it wasn't really getting the inputs that I liked. Uh, something in me that didn't really, really like it. Um, but the other one was a Christian. I don't know what kind of Christian, uh, but at least it didn't seem like so, when he read it, it didn't seem so uh, offensive. I'm not sure, but spiritual offensive. I'm not sure, it seems like something was going on in this. Um, anyway, uh, vai, 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 actually, vei vachek actually uses the V R U. No, 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 not U. What is that? Why? Why? Yeah, I think vei, vei vachek. And that would be the way I would also probably do it. But sometimes you put an I in there instead of a Y. 
and I'm not sure why. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Any, anyway, um, maybe it's because there's another, a different, a different Nikud or something like that. Elohim et Yom Hashvei vai Kadesh oto kivo Shavat mikol melachto. Mila. Sometimes also this translation forgets. Uh, you know, in regards of uh, some are missing and all that. And I was looking at the Psalms and that's this and that, but apparently he's not going to change the. He's not going to correct the module. And maybe it's because he's maybe maybe making a new one. I'm not sure. So uh, maybe he is in the production of a new one, or maybe he just does, doesn't don't want to do these things anymore. Asher bara Elohim la asod, which created the gods again the plural form of God. La asod and made a la these told as uh, Hashemaim. And the thing is, when people are saying, "Yeah, well, it's it's in regards of singular, singular, what do you shall we say, uh, grammar where Elohim is used." Well, yeah, because God is one, but He's plural, so again, it shouldn't be a, I think, a problem. I'm still looking into it, but I don't think it seems to be. If you have the plural form and using the singular form, there's not really a problem in regards of God because he's plural singular. As a plurality in regards of God being singular, so it's using plural and singular words wouldn't be a problem, you know. Uh, just showing us something which apparently the translators usually seems to uh, miss, it seems, because of. Traditions, it seems, or whatever their own ways and all that. And we should actually have known for a long time because we have the explanation from Jesus being the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you know, that we have three entities. It shouldn't be that hard to correct. Um, so, and Jesus saying, you know, me and my Father are one. Well, they are two, are they not? We have the Father and we have the Son, so they are two, but... They are one. Echa. You know, just... Anyway, just don't... You know, it's because people don't want to have the truth. And I think, at least as far as I know, maybe I'm wrong, you know, and I have to have something... I have more to study and all that. But I think a lot of... You know, you have one of the versions actually just translated correctly. That's nice. That's uh, B-H... Something like that. I think it's this one. Um, when they have Elohim, uh, maybe it's not. Uh, probably both of them, but that's one version where it's like, yeah, there we go. And be completed, we read it from the left to the right here. So the usually you read uh, Hebrew from the right to the left, and here it's from the left to the right. So the, that's and, be complete. Um, so that would be... That, that, and they still use uh, the musical notes, it seems, sadly. That's very, not, uh, very uh, you know, it's it's not a big issue, but still, I think it's an issue if you're trying to read Hebrew uh, and still as a beginner, and you have this weird sign again, and some of them are easily, you know, discounted. You, you just don't take note, you know, try and just try to, but it's still, you know, so anyway, be complete the heavens and the earth. And I think actually it might be one of the places where these two goes together. So you just have the arts, but I'm maybe in the, uh, maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, sometimes the and, and you know the maybe it's the other one. But some of the prefixes sometimes when there's a the, so the the just you know it's not there, and uh, but it's still there, but it's not there. It's hidden. Uh, earth and whole service and be complete. Here we go. Elohim, God, and they put it in brackets. I think it's brackets, like or parentheses, parentheses. S God, yeah. Well, well, at least they went so far that they actually to you know put it in parentheses. You know, I'm just thinking. You know, just go the all with the, all the way. Go the all the way. Some of the translations that we have just translate the word as Elohim. I think this is one of the versions. So you're pretty much, and you know Elohim means plural uh, gods. So you get the, you get it, you know, um, you get it from, 
Let's see. So, so you're not losing that yeah, Elohim. And Yehovah Elohim planted a garden in the Eden. So that would be, and Yehovah the gods planted a garden in Eden. But no one actually dares to translate it as such, it seems. So I think we need to, uh, you know, have someone do it. So uh, at least as far as I understand it, that's what be the, I'm still, I'm still trying to learn and all that. We, you know, I just want, instead of, you know, let's get the closest we can to the truth, you know, instead of just, you know, that the translator just translated as he, you know, with this fault. Of course, we all, all have some kind of filter, but, um, you know, but it has to be in the right direction, you know, I think. Uh, here we have, and from the ground, Yehovah Elohim formed every beast of the field and every bird of the Shamayim of the heavens. So, Elohim, again, plural. So, Yehovah the gods formed every beast of the field. That would, of course, be Father, Son, and Holy Spirit working together. Um... And the rib which Jehovah Elohim had taken from the man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. Uh, again, you know, another, you know, it's just um, yeah. Anyway, plural form of God. Don't take that out of the translation. I think that's dishonest because the the guy reading English or Danish or whatever don't you know usually don't see behind the text. Yet we can still find the doctrine, of course, but it's there from the very beginning, and it's so many places. Oh, well, anyway. Um, so you see, at least they've been honest by actually um, uh, using... Uh, it's actually a nice program or, or module, this one, is in some sense, because you have... It divides all the the prefixes, all these... All these like ha is a prefix, ber is a prefix, ver is a heap uh, prefix, and prefix is like something that is put in front of the word. Then you have infixes which are in the words, and then you have uh, suffixes which are the end of the words. Very interesting. But anyway, and I'm, you know, uh, still a lot of you know things to learn for sure. So you get one word, and then you get a lot of these infixes, whatever, and suffixes, and it can be, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I did studies on the prefixes because of the name of Yehovah. So, but as a lot of things, you know, you learn things and then you lose it again, you know, and then you need to relearn it again at some point. And at some point it will hopefully stick to you. Um, how we have the object marker in regards of it, the Aleph and the Tav. Of course, Jesus said he was the Alpha and the Omega in Hebrew. That would be the Aleph and Tav. So anyway, the day Hayom et Elohim, the gods, you know, um, Yevarech, um, va, 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 that's a good question, va, bo, or something like that, va, bo, that, ki, o, to, ve, yik, ve, 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 ka, Desh vekadesh ve shevei bara. Uh, we have a you know sometimes the words get you know really close. To, uh oh, I'm reading it backward. <laughs> That's uh, I, I said we should read it from the from the left to the right, right? But I, I, I'm reading it backward. Sorry. That's I mean, that's also a problem with this program. Sometimes it actually changes the direction of it. Uh, so you have to be uh, also to actually put the yod hey vav hey, uh, at least uh, in in regards of it. Does, it's not spelling out what the name is, but at least doesn't say Adonai or anything like that, which is dishonest. I think uh, it is. Dis I think it's totally dishonest. Anyway, uh, so they put it in there. That's nice. And gods, uh, they should probably just have put gods in regards to the plural. Doesn't they actually in regards of the heavens? Don't they do it in regards to, yeah, the heavens. Shamayim. They use the, the plural form of heavens. Why why don't they do, why don't they just take the parentheses away, away and just gods? It is gods, you know. Uh, I do wonder if they actually do it in regards to the faces. Faces is usually also plural. Um, here, oh, Pinay. No, they only have, 
uh, singular and can't load we have a problem again i need to reinstall it or something like that still have problems with uh, it, it it works you know for a short time then you need to close the program and open it again and yeah, it's, it's a mess I, I i'm really getting tired of it i think it started after i updated the um the mobile and something went wrong or something or maybe the program when that updated again you know every time you update the a program there's a possibility that it's not going to work as it did before and you need to reset uh you know you said need to set up all the settings and all that and it's just terrible you know it's not like in the old days where like a little patch like three megabytes or something like that was you know making corrections to the program and actually not making errors you know of course that was the possibility but usually it didn't happen it just corrected the things you know small issues here and there corrected maybe they were better to test the things instead of just getting the things out to people and then destroying their programs and destroying the it's really annoying that you can only go one way you can only update the things you can't go back uh, on google uh, you know they really uh, it's not i don't think it's uh, uh, you know it's typical things you know satanic ways instead of just if someone wants to use an older version because that older version was working why not let the user do that no 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 also had a program that was free and then became non-free and then you get this update and you can't really uh but anyway, uh, it's the Sabbath, so shouldn't talk business and all that. Uh, in some sense, it's uh, um, it's just annoying with these things when things, um, yeah. So uh, can't load the module. Ain't books one one chapter. There you go. You see, you have uh, get into these problems, and probably now it doesn't work with the HISB as well no no it apparently still works but this module also ends up uh, having issues and says no it's not working anymore or whatever and again i you know i never had these problems uh in the beginning the first couple of years so again it's an update problem or or either because of my updating the system or updating the program in itself so one of one of them made this program not work and i'm not sure which you know but one of them uh, because it worked wonderful without any problems so and all this setup i've made to this program over the years i'm like mm, i don't really write like losing those you know and needing to sit here and try to set the program up again as I wanted, like the graphic and all the things that, you know, the menu, uh, um, you can do a lot of things in this program for sure. You know, you can use a lot of time. There's a huge amount of, of course, if you're playing a video game, there's a huge amount of different bottoms doing different things as well on the keyboard. You know, on these, some of these games that people use thousands of thousands of thousands of hours on, you know, I better use it on a Bible program than, than, than these programs, you know. Anyway, yeah, he, uh, this chapter two, but actually in regards of the chapter actually ends, um, let's see here. Mela, me, that's a good, there we have the two dots again, you know, the, the Shiva, we also have the Shiva in the beginning here. So we have me, and then we have La, but again, apparently according to this, it's actually Lach. So you actually take this with it so you actually have the lamed and the r sound then you have the have an uh, aleph that's the first letter of the aleph bed and then you have the half over here but you have the half with the shiva and apparently the shiva is used as a stopper here in some sense so you have lach so you have melach to and that's the thing you know if you're following the the things that i've read in regards of beginning hebrew you would just think that it's like melacheto, you know, not melachto. So that it's let's let's try to see the other program here. It's two two. Let's go over and see how they do it over in the two two. Um, there we go. 
Chu Chu Elohim And actually he didn't use plural form Didn't he use plural other places? Didn't we actually see him Or was it the other program that used plural? No, that, uh, maybe it was one of the other play. Oh, that was the heavens that he used plural. But you shamayim. Listen to the ending of shamayim, yim. Listen to the ending of Elohim. That's the plural thing. Elohim, shamayim, as uh, as far as I understand it. Um, so you have the im ending, which is plural. So why would he translate shamayim plural yet miss out on Elohim as plural? Um, I don't know what he did with the... would be interesting to see what he did with the faces, which is also, as far as I understand it, uh, plural. And, but it's still used in some sense singular, but maybe there's something more about it, why it might be uh, used as plural as well. Uh, anyway, let's may maybe just take this first and see... Uh, let's see here. On the seventh day, by Yom, where were we? Oh, here we go. Melach Tov and he actually has a, a double V in it as well Melach Tov again there are different ways of saying Hebrew so but um, I don't really see a double V in it but uh, Melach Tov I would say but anyway it seems he has a double V in it again there's at least three different ways of dialects of Hebrew and that's probably more but uh, so where they have variations in the dialect so like like we also have different kinds of dialects in english i think it's called you know uh it's, it's still english but it's yeah anyway um so let's go back to one let's see chapter one and see if we can find penne see if he actually translated that as plural genesis go so, Bereshit bara Elohim, again, Shamayim, again, plural, he uses the plural, very nicely done to use plural there. Um, let's see if we can find the faces. Here we have the, also, this is one of the interesting things, you know, I think. And the earth, the Ha'aret, Ha'yita, Tohu, Vahu, Vechosech, Al Pene, oh that's the Pene. Actually it doesn't use the plural. Hmm. That's one two. Let's try one two one two Let's see here. Pene, let's try to take it. Paneim. Face faces presence per person but anyway it has the plural form in regards of face and faces. So as far as I understand it, it's actually plural. So it's, it should probably be, you know, let the, let the reader decide, you know. If it's plural, then translate it as plural and then let the reader decide how he will. Maybe there are a gold nugget in it, you know, faces. You know, we have a body, right? And we have a soul, right? Maybe there are two faces. I don't know. But it's just uh, an idea because we know the soul still exists after the body is decomposing or whatever you know getting you know when the when the breath of god leaves the body the soul uh, decomposes or what is it called it you know becomes nothing it rots and then we have the nefesh sleeping in the ground until the day of resurrection so it's sleeping in sheol or hades or the realm of death i think it's the best translation but it's sleeping in the earth so if our nefesh is you know, maybe the nefesh have a face and if the nefesh have a face like you know a soul have a face maybe we have two faces then and not one uh, we have the spiritual face of the nefesh and we have the bodily face of the body you know so that would be two faces. That would be plural, right? I don't know. I, I just an idea, you know. It's just, I don't know. It's just, um, of course, there are also this in regards to the singular and the two and the, and the three plural thing. Uh, it's a thing to study. And I'm not sure how, because if it actually pin, pin an email, that would maybe be the, 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 
above two plural things. So in any case, but it's plural. And anyway, let's let the, the read to the side. I think maybe there are something. Maybe there's something. You know. And maybe not, maybe not, but then let the reader decide, you know, if there's anything, you know, and, you know, um, ask a question. Why is it trans? Well, you know, sometimes it's, it's plural in the Hebrew. We don't really know why, you know, um, if because it's use, usually in regards to singular. You know, just just be honest about you know, just let the pe person, you know, every time you translate, you know, from one, tra uh, one, uh, Every time you translate from one language to another, or a tongue, actually tongue, I like that. That's probably more biblical to actually use the tongue. When you translate from one tongue to another tongue, you always lose information. You know, it's it's you will lose some information every time you translate because some words in one language may mean more things than another language. You know, and some languages are closer together than others, like. Aramaic and Hebrew are like sister languages, where Aramaic and Greek are not sister languages. So you will lose some information. But one thing is to be honest with the text, and another thing is to be dishonest. I feel, you know, it's just, it's just um, anyway. Uh, but this is a very interesting line in regards, I think, uh, because it says the spirit of the gods. It says, Veruach Elohim. Now, if you take all the man-made doctrines of the Jews and the, the false Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mohammedans and all that, and they say that, oh, Elohim is a name of God. I've just take all these things away or that it's a majestic plural or whatever. Take them all away and just read it as it reads, you know. Veruach, the spirit of the gods. That's just, yo, it's the spirit of the gods. What spirit might that be? The spirit of Christ, the spirit of the Father, the spirit of Jehovah. The spirit of truth, of course. So it's already there, you know. <laughs> I like that. I love that. And it's just like, as far as I understand it, just the translators just miss it, you know. There's many places, just many places. It's just found where you're like, oh, wow, you, you. But anyway, I'm, again, I'm not a, pro, I'm not a pro in Hebrew. But I'm like, it seems to me that there's something. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But it seems, you know, seems very interesting for sure. Something to look into. And and you see that people understand that Elohim is actually. They're not liking to say it, and but you see that yeah, some actually, you know, like the other, uh, like the. Like the B H S E K, where they actually put it in parentheses that this is actually a plural word, and yet other places actually say Hashemayim is the heavens, and then of course they that was in regards to the face. I'm not sure about the faces if they if they did it in regards. It's really hard to remember everything here. Let's let's uh oh, oops. Well, there we go. There we go. Uh oh, let's try. I'm not sure if the module stopped working or let's try and see if yeah, no we still have it still running great so and the earth be emptiness and emptiness and darkness upon the face of the earth on the prime primeval ocean anyway let's see here where the face is oh yeah, yeah they translate just face you know just the face of the waters you know uh, and actually it's the to whom, to whom, they call it the primate, I'm not sure about the translation, how that works out, mm. I see here, the pene, to whom, the huak, of the deep, hmm, death, hmm, not sure how that, but anyway, the, the spirit of the gods moved, I'm not sure in regards of how that, to grow, to hover, some say it's like a, you know, um, I don't know. Anyway, over the faces of the waters. So over the waters. So the and this is before space is created. I think actually. So the rakia is is made later. But anyway, Vayomer the gods. So the gods are saying, 
uh, ye he or let there be light, right? Uh, by he or and there was light. So the gods are speaking, but the spirit is hovering over the waters. You know, is there something going on here? Um, we are made in the image of the gods. <laughs> you know, uh, anyway, Vaya Elohim, so the gods saw. And again, it might be singular in regards of so seeing and all that, but again, God is plural, singular, so it's not a, it's not a problem. It's not a problem mixing plural and singular words in, into it, I think. It's because it's, it's, it's both. It is both. What is happening? It's both. It's, it's, they're working together. It's like they're one, but they're, you know. Anyway, it ha'or ki tov vayabdel Elohim and the self separated the gods from the light, Uvein ha from the darkness. So the gods, plural, are separating the light from the darkness. You know, he's just missing this from the very beginning of Scripture. And what does Jesus say? Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's just here from the very beginning <laughs> in the Hebrew. <laughs> Anyway, and Vayikra Elohim, you know, and the gods called the the light day, and the darkness he called night. I'm not sure in regards of the he here, or if it should be he or, or, or them, but sometimes God is, you know, plural, but yet singular used as he as well. Anyway, I'm not sure how that would, would work out in regards, I need to know more Hebrew in regards to that, but... Anyway, and it was evening and it was morning, uh, first day. The first day. And there's some translations have a problem where you like, day one. <laughs> no, it's not the day one. It's the first day. And that's a doctrinal issue as well, again, where they want to, you know, they want to de have these e e ideas into the, you know, they want, they want to try to make a, an opening for their false doctrines. It's the first day, the first, very first day of creation, you know. There was nothing before it, it was the first day, okay. And anyway, so, and you can use a lot of wasting, wasting a lot of time on this. But of course, you could just take it as fact and, uh, you know, just discount all the other things pretty much is, you know, just... But you can use a lot of these weird theories out there where brainy guys have, you know, done their work in some sense of... And having these flabbergasted titles, and uh, apparently people believe everything what people say with a great title and uh, and a white coat. Anyway, by Yomer Elohim, so the God said, Yehi, let there be a space. I think space would be a good, but they, they say firmament. You know, it's the heavens we're talking about. The Rakia is the Hashemayim, the heavens. So I think it would be space would be because it's space, right? We have space. I have space here. This is space. <laughs> but the space consists of both this and and the space outside. So that would be plural, right? At least, you know, we have the space here and we have the space upwards. So that's, you know, fits with heavens, I think. We also have different pronunciations of the space where the stars and the sun and the moon goes and all that. And then we have the heavens uh, in regards of the where the where the, the the clouds are, you know, so that's two, right? Heavens. That's anyway. Betoch hamayim and the waters, plural. And you see the im, mayim. The ha is the, and then you have the mayim. And actually, they use it the hamayim, so that's like two m's here. But anyway, mayim is the word. That might be a noun. I'm not sure. I'm not good at this, but that might be a noun uh, definition. Is there like a noun thing here in this? Uh, oh, yeah. Parts of speech, noun, and it's masculine. Yeah, okay. So, anyway, um, Mayim is, again, plural of waters. So, um, so write it plural. Don't write it singular if it's written plural in the Hebrew, even if it goes against our... You know, you know, if the if the Bible says it, let's yeah. Uh, Vehim Avdil 
Bain Mayim Lamayim Vayaas Elohim. So the gods again, you know, it Harakia the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which from was from above it. You know, we have the waters down here, right? And we have the waters in the clouds, don't we? And I'm not sure in regards to space, but uh, as we, again, we have the, the heaven and we have where the clouds are and we have the space where we, you know, the stars and the moons and all that. Um, some say there are some water out in space. I don't know about that. But in any case, he's dividing the waters. You know, in regards, we have the clouds and we have, you know, we're pretty much there's waters in the clouds. They rain down from the sky, right? Uh, or from the heavens. And we have the water collected in the mikvah on earth, in the collection pool and so forward. Anyway, Asher Me'al Larakia, uh, which uh, was above the firmament, um, uh, and it was so. And again, they're talking about the, being above the, the space. So that's, you know, um, some believe that it's like you have, still have the rakia, but it's still above the, you know, you still have rakia here, and then you have it above it, but it's still more rakia afterwards, but it's still above it. It's anyway where the clouds are. Anyway, that's the best thing that I can can, can do, at least from, from here on, because it's not... It's not out in, you know, some believe that actually that might, that if we could actually look to the end of, of space, which we can, apparently it doesn't seem like it's possible, at least not at the moment. Uh, as far as I understand it, we have pretty much looked as far as we can in space, so we haven't even, we can't even see everything out there. <laughs> And, and it's just huge already, you know, in regards to that information. But um, some believe that there might actually be like a water thing at the end of, I don't know. Uh, it's a theory, but it's not confirmed in any case. Uh, I, I don't think the, but who knows, you know. Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really, uh, you know, and we don't have any proof of it and we probably can't verify it. Um, so if we can't look to the end of the universe, we can't really verify if we are in a water bubble in some sense, right? So again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really put much uh, weight in that. Anyway, Vayikra Elohim and the gods call the firmament the heavens, and you use a singular. But if you take, you know, one of the other translations here, for example, the, it should be say plural. And we know it's plural, but anyway, um, as far as I know, firmament heavens, there we go, plural, using the plural. They, you know, some, apparently some words, they are, yeah, it's just going in the right direction, I guess, you know. You know, beginning the traditions, beginning to fall off in some sense, and people wanting the truth and nothing but the truth, at least. You know, the people standing for truth are the ones, you know, um, pulling rope from Satan. So, and we, you know, the world has to, you know, the people that tries to pull in the other direction have to pull along, or I actually has to go along with some of the things because it's the truth, and thereby it's harder to deceive the people if people stand for truth, you know. And that's one of the things where I think that the Danish official version actually ended up having capital letters where the name of God should be because a Jew, which became a Christian, translated the whole Bible with the name of God in it. <laughs> it's just wonderful. And what, you know, I, I'm thinking what, you know, they might have get, gotten some questions about that, you know, and uh, so they ended, I think that I, 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 I could be wrong, but I think that could be, uh, have been one of the things why they actually put the name in Kabbalah. But again, I, something more to research from my side, I could be wrong. Uh, I need to have the dates and see when he actually made his first version and see when the official Danish version actually began doing it. Because if it began doing it after he made the version with Jehovah, they might have had a problem because now there's this Bible on the street with the name of God, the correct places, and they have a version where there's just Lord in it. And it's small capital letters, so you don't know the name uh, should be there because there's sometimes Lord, correctly translated from the Lord, 
well, actually, usually it's also plural. They don't translate it as plural a lot of times as well. But anyway, and it might be because God is plural. Anyway, anyway, there's Adon, which is singular, and then there's Adonai, which is there's my Lord and my I know my fingers needs to be uh, yeah chopped off. Uh, not, not not chopped off, but my nails. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, haven't really done that. Uh, anyway, uh, but I sure they are really not looking good uh being on camera and all that anyway so we have adon and then we have adonim adonim is the plural form of adonai and apparently if you have my lords i think it was it is adonai so why do they translate it singular i have no idea you know that's just tradition i guess anyway let's just destroy all the <laughs> false trans translations right Anyway, um, and we have just only have had like 500 years to do this, you know, to correct things and all that. And apparently something else must have went wrong, you know, because we apparently stopped going the right direction when we could have, you know, gone further. Um, so, Vayikra Elohim La... But anyway, as you see, it's, it's the, the Shemayim. Uh, is the heavens and in regards to plural form. So I just think it, you know, if it's plural in the Hebrew, translate it in as he uh, as as yeah as plural. So you have Adonai, Hashem, uh, Shemayim, uh, and you have the Mayim as well, also, which is a problem in regards of the plural singular thing. It seems you know what it maybe translate as water. I'm not sure if. Um, but anyway, um, you have these weird and, and Elohim also being translated as singular God and all that. When it's plural, <laughs> maybe it's because Jesus is God, and maybe they didn't like Jesus being God. So some at least. And then we, as far as I understand it, the traditions. Why I just read something about it, the traditions of why we are not. It's because we are following Jewish traditions, you know. Why would we follow Jewish traditions, which are clearly false in regards of translating it to Lord? What do we do? What do we have to do with the Jews? If the Jews want to corrupt their scriptures, you know, that's their part. Why would we do it, Christians, standing for the truth, do the same thing? No, 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 no. And e the Catholics as well, of course, are pushing on this. Uh, no, we don't want the deceptive ways of doing things. We want the spirit of truth and we want to stand on truth. And someone has to do it. And hopefully the more the merrier. And the more the better. The more they can begin to uh, take rope from Satan and begin to go in the right direction. So, Vayikra Elohim, you know, in these days where Jesus' divinity is attacked on so many levels, you know, just, you know, someone is going to pull in the right direction because this is not, we are, all these lies and deceptions, no way, you know, I'm getting tired of it. Um, so anyway, Vayikra Elohim, one, one thing is to be in error and then find out you're in an error and then correct it. Another thing is just to continue to promote these lies and deceptions, you know. And this is a popular doctrine that Jesus is not God, you know. Um, a very popular doctrine. Of course, Satan has to take Jesus on a lower level. He has to take him down if you want this ecumenical movement thing that every way leads to God and so forward. Well, it leads to Satan, all right, that's for sure. But there's only one way that leads to God the Father. And that is through his son, who is divine in essence as well, or what usually you know, essence, uh, nature, yeah, nature may might be also a good word. He is the son, but he is still divine. He was before creation, and he was raised in bodily form after three days and three nights on the third day. Uh, you know, there's so many liars and deceivers out there, and I have no idea. It's just so... It's so just dishonest, and you can give them all the pearls, and yet they will. You know, it's just, you know. Anyway, Vayikra Elohim la Rakia, the firmament, and I think the firmament might be singular. In uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's singular, which wouldn't be a big uh, surprise if that is, is you know. 
But we know what the Lachakia is. Some some people have this weird doctrine, I think, in regards of this, uh, you know, but the Lachakia is the heavens. It says it directly that the Lachakia, that the gods called the, uh, the space, the heavens. And I think it's singular and in regards to Lachakia, which wouldn't be a surprise, I think. But in regards of calling it heavens, that makes in regards of what it is and having, you know, you have the space where the clouds and you have the space where the stars. That's at least two, isn't it? So anyway, so you can you, you see some singularity and plurality. Again, I need to do some more research if this is actually... Um, I only have the free material that I have to do and... It doesn't say here if it's singular or plural, but I think it's I think it's singular, as far as I know. Uh, we have a T and an E O A B, but I'm not sure what that stands for. Uh, solid? No, no, no. Uh, I think it stands for something in regards of if it's, but uh, I'm not sure. So. Mm, nope. Uh, raka, from raka, what is raka? Raka, to pound the earth, to expand, to overlay, to beat, stamp, beat out, spread out, stretch. Yeah, what it would mean, you know, he stretched the heavens, right? Or something about that, wasn't that? Anyway, uh, in any case, I think it's singular. Uh, maybe I could find out if I actually took the... Um, so all these Bible versions, pretty much, that I have here, most of them are free. It's free. It's free. Yes, free. You just need to download them. And you do it from inside the program. So every, the Ain't and Ain't Vocal is not free. And the FCB Torah only is not free either. Uh, it's actually a test version. Um, the OANTPS PV is not free either. Uh, it might be four modules, but it's in some sense the same thing in regards to the Aramaic. But because these are test versions, and some some are, are paid for, and others are test in regards of the the new things that uh, that he's making a module where the the Old Testament in Aramaic is translated as well. I'm not sure if he's going to have Strong's numbers in it. Uh, it would be nice, but it's a big work to translate things and all that. But I still have different modules you haven't collected everything together uh, as one module so but those are not free um, but everything else here in this uh, thing is free some of the things are put over in um, the young trend I put it put it over in the one that I can compare with because it's it doesn't really have anything that I think would you know, I put it over in the Bishop Bible, some of the modules where I think it's, and I, I'm not sure if I, you know, where I know they exist, like the L, the, the Green Literal Edition and, and the Young Literal Tradition. Both of them, as far as I understand it, are based on, on the whole, the received manuscript. So everything which is found from the received manuscript is found in these translations. And I don't want to have, to have these revised editions and all that. And there's just a lot of liars and deceivers out there working for the Catholic Church. And uh, just go away from me, you, you liars and deceivers, you know. Um, so this is the young, let's see, how, how do, I, there we go. So you have the King James Version here, the Young li Literal Translation and Green Literal Translation, and all of them are free as well. So, but here you can see it's very nice that you can just, if you have something to research and want to look into something, I haven't used it that much, but I used it for First John 5, 7 to compare different Bibles. And it was, you know, it's pretty fluently. It runs pretty good. It's free. And it's easy to, uh, there's a lot of sources for, for this as well. So I put the Young Literal Translation and Green Literal Translation. One of them, I think it's the Young's Literal Translation actually was found in the other program, but Green's Literal Translation was not. And usually, uh, if I wanted to compare them and all that, I have that possibility. Um, but there's no reason for having it over in uh, my sword. I think if I can actually, if I just use it to... Uh, at least I can always install one of them if uh, but I already have like a lot of you know the Geneva the King James and 
you know, it's I use the Geneva seldoms, you know, just the King James and the King and the Geneva is a lot of the same, you know, it's um it's not the big difference in it. Um, but I have it, the Geneva, because it was a very uh, popular Bible in regards to the Protestants. And then you have the VWV, it's a free Bible as well, based on the received text. And uh, let's see, um, the King James Version is in regards to the received text. Now, there's still a lot of things that I don't understand, but I, you know, in regards of this is a huge topic, but I do think I got the understanding that I don't really want to use much of those things that are not the received text. There are of course some things that you know where it seems like they have used um, where they take out things and all that uh, like First John 5 7 even the hallelujah scriptures take out First John 5 7 and uh, the scriptures take it out as well which I think is wrong but in any case, uh, I still think they are really good versions because they have the name, they use the Elohim thing, they have the Hebrew names as well. Uh, so taking out First John 5, 7, well, I know it's, you know, it should be there. I know it usually is there. So, you know, it's, you can still reconstruct it in some sense, right? Um, so it's not a... It's not a totally break dealer for me, but I would like them to actually put it in there again because I think it should be there. But why would people like it to not be there? Because it's validation of the Trinity. In regards to the Father and the Son and the Spirit and, you know, that tree that witness in heaven. Yeah, and the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So it is a pretty, you know, it's, it's one of the most clear, you know, things in regards to the Trinity. Um, you know, so those attacking Jesus' divinity don't want it. And all those people that at attack that, you know, the spirit is, you know, uh, it's not a person and all that. They won't like, they, they don't like it either. But of course, we have the book of Matthew, the last part of, of Matthew, where Jesus says, or Yeshua says, go out and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, which name did the disciples go out and baptize in? Was it the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they said? Or was it the name of Yeshua? Every single time in the New Testament that they baptize anyone, it is not in, in regards of saying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is in regards to the name of Yeshua. But yet you have Jesus or Yeshua saying, go and baptize in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Why would he mention all three? Why would he mention the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Well, of course, they don't take that out of their Bibles because as far as I understand it, they can't. Because as uh, as far as I understand it, pretty good support for it that it has uh, that it has always been there, and um, so yeah. But the other one, they really have had a, you know, they really there's a lot of uh, apparently debate going on in regards to that. I think it's pretty much I think it's settled for my for my point of view. Reading what you know, researching what other has researched, as I tr you know do, um, I think it's pretty. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a question about it being there. You know, it should be there. It doesn't go against the Bible in any way in regards to the doctrine. And when they say it was inserted by Constantine or whatever, there are different views. You know, it's, it doesn't it doesn't add up because we have people before the before 325 pointing to it. So that's many things that just doesn't add up. So also destroying the Greek grammar, as far as I understand it. Uh, if you don't have it in there, and if you have it there, the grammar works, you know, there's no problem with the grammar. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, it just seems dishonest. If people know this, that the grammar is ruined, you know, I've seen a historical source, I think I've seen three different uh, uh, Greek uh, people knowing Greek uh, saying that the grammar is, you know, is, is uh, I'm not sure if I've seen more, but anyway, that's what I can remember at the moment. And it's like, if that's true, 
someone is very dishonest because just telling if they if they knew Greek and they can see there's something wrong here and they you know forget to tell the people about that that's just dishonest that's with withholding evidence so people can make up their own mind I think that's really if if you know that's the thing if I ever get to the point that I can actually read uh, Greek and I can see that myself and it's true that's then there's a lot of dishonest people withholding evidence that goes against their theory that they are promoting and that's dishonest it's actually very dishonest I think it's it's uh, filthy you know if that is true which it seems to be but anyway uh, so there's a lot of lies out that seems a lot of deceivers uh, just again I can't verify I, I, I'm not that good at Greek so uh, to see if it's true or not um, maybe actually I could write to uh, I'm not sure if he uh, Anderson made some Greek movies and it's not like he has a, he has some anger problems but uh, in any case but he, he's doing the Greek thing and all that and uh, I'm not sure if you know I don't I'm not sure he made some Greek videos I'm not sure if he actually takes that at some point it would have been interesting if he, if he had taken that in regards of learning Greek and all that I've seen some of them just to get some uh, you know um, to get some more what shall we say there's a lot of teaching things you don't need to buy anything and all that to get some Greek or some Hebrew and all that you there's a lot of free material out there you know teachers for example in the schools they record themselves and at least for example the hebrew as one teacher that's just recording himself in regards to the hebrew and laid, laid all the things out i also think the book in regards to the hebrew is also laid out but i don't have that i have all his videos now but at, at some point I, many years ago i looked into it and then i you know laid it to the side and um but I've, if I remember correctly, I found both his video. I have all his videos now, but I haven't seen him in you know, time and time and all that. Um, but he he also had his where you could you know make these um, studies or what do you sell you know what do you call it the what is that called in English? You know you get something you need to make at home. I'm not sure what it's called, but anyway. So and call gods to firmament heavens and be evening and be morning second yeah yeah yeah. So and we have the LXX that's the Greek. Um, but again, mm, usually this program I'm using it to research. So actually these different versions it's nice to have like one you know different versions to compare with to see how they would translate something and all that. But in some sense, it's also, I guess, uh, it's not that that the thing that I use most times on it. And a lot of the translations, even if they were, you know, it's still, they usually still, uh, 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 you know, some of the things that they still are continuing to do, I think is, uh, like for example, here we have the scripture version, which now don't work apparently. So I need to close it down and open it up to actually get it working. Uh, and I have no idea why it does it, but uh, it does. Um, and again, I have to find out what I'm going to do with this, you know. But anyway, you have here you have the TS two two thousand nine version. It's not the the newest version. It's not free, but you know they doesn't really still still pretty good, you know. It's the, the TS 2009 version is still pretty, I'm not sure how many uh, changes they actually made this and that, but um, in any case, um, it's free. Um, and here they say they have Elohim, so you know when it's plural. And they also have the name of God in it. Uh, there are things where I not agree with it, but you, you know, there's always something you don't agree with. Yeah, for example, also in the seventh day, it seems from other translations that it's actually the sixth day. The Masoretic text says seven, yes. But um, I see in, not by, or on the seventh day, Hebrew by Yom Hashivii. If you actually look in regards of the Aramaic version, the so Samaritan version, and I think there was one more. Um, not sure about the Dead Sea Scrolls, but it actually says six day and not the seven day. So if you have three or more witnesses saying it's the six day and not the seven day, not sure about the Greek actually, if the Greek says seven day or uh, there was something in regard to where I 
let's see uh, see if it doesn't say yeah and in the sixth day because you know and in the sixth day god fi finished his works that he made and he was refreshed in the seventh day from all of his works that he had made doesn't it make sense that it's actually the sixth day and not the seventh day in any case it's a, it's a minor thing in some sense you know it's we still don't understand what it says you know it's not like it's destroyed we know that god created everything in the six days and but it's still um seemingly a mistake so this was the aramaic let's see the greek what it says oh the greek also says six day so we have the greek we have the aramaic saying the sixth day and uh, i don't have the dead sea scrolls so uh, that's two witnesses at least so when you go to the HEISB or other translations that's used primarily the Masoretic text, the Hebrew text, well, you have Hashivii, uh, which is the seven day, which seems to be wrong. You know, again, a minor, again, a minor thing. It's just not, it's not something that changes the, the, the doctrines or anything like that, but it's still, you know, we want to have the, Anyway, if we can see the Aramaic translated as six days, the Greek translated seemingly as a six day, um, what was it more, the Samaritans. Do I have the Samaritan version here? No, uh, I probably need to go over. Actually, I found the Samaritan version uh, over in, I think it was, no, 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 no let's see. Yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the great thing with the free program here is that some of the things that you don't have in the other program, they have here. Um, and that's wonderful if you, you know, uh, see commentaries. I don't really use commentaries, you know, very seldom I use commentaries because I want to have views on something, you know, but, you know, usually commentaries is just, you know, forming you in one direction or whatever. But, you know, uh, you know, it's, I, I have used it seldom, very seldom where I just, want to know something um, for example the Geneva Bible have commentaries to it and you know if you want to know in regards of pointing to um, Rome and all that uh, there are some you know how, how, how some of the Protestants actually looked on these things you have the commentaries and you can look at what they believed some of the things were at least from from the view of the of the most popular um, Bible of the Protestants, you know. So let's see here. This should be uh, no. This is still not. Is it? Uh, see, Samaritan Pentateuch. Oh, it actually has the. Oh, it has the. Apparently, it seems like this Pentateuch actually have the. Oh, that's nice. Oh well, that's uh, so. It doesn't only have the. Well, anyway, if we can go to number two here, and we see, uh, thus the heavens, oh, they use it, plural, and the earth were finished and all the host of them. And on the sixth day, oops, let's try to see if we can get to the sixth day again. And on the sixth day, God ended his work, which is the plural form of God, if I remember correctly. So again, it's not perfect. Oh, why isn't that actually, uh, didn't we have, didn't we have, oh, maybe I need to push something to get, the wasn't there like uh, H something beforehand not sure if I removed it or if maybe it didn't uh, I don't know anyway it's not there now in, in any case so thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them and on the sixth day uh, the gods ended his it ended his work which he had made I think it's the plural form of the god but maybe yeah, I can. I, you know, I can't really. If there's, if there's not any Hebrew thing, let's try again to see if we can choose document and see if it, if it's me that just, no, no. So maybe that's not. So I would need a, a, you know, one of these things that cost money to apparently to have. It doesn't seem to have it. I'm not sure if it actually had the other version. One of the other versions still have it. Yeah, maybe it didn't change the. Maybe it was the e ESV that we saw. Yeah, might have been that. And then if we change to, uh oh, choose document. Uh, you know, there are still some things that I really like to want to have. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have, anyway, in any case, it doesn't, it's free. So as as long as it's free, it's good, right? Um, but I know there are tools out there to look behind the text and I really want, 
there's more information. I, there are tools, the things that I really would, would like to to have to get to more information. But, you know, there's a lot of things getting out there and all that. So, you know, time, as time goes, there's more information. If, for example, the Aramaic, if one wants to have Aramaic modules, there are, and I actually had deleted the program, but I installed it again, Accordance, which is like a paid, one of these big biblical programs. But as I understand, they're still working on the program for the mobile. And I must say, it's slow. It's very slow. This is just the de demo of it. And as you can see, this is the Greek. Let's see if we can read it. Biblos Geneseos Jesu Christu I'm not sure. Ino David Ino Avra 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 Ge ge egeni senton yitzak yitzak di di egen geni senton Jakob Jakob di geni geni senton Jude Judah maybe Judah you Judah I'm not sure Kai tos to is or to is at the Adelpho is autoi Judas di egenisenton pares kai ton sara ek tes da ma pares. Uh, I need more practice in regards to the Greek and all that. But you know, as you can see, it's it looks, you know, it's, it's not bad, and you can. You can have like this, but it, you can see it's very slow. It's not reacting at all. Now, of course, I'm re video recording, so that doesn't make it uh, make it better. But it's not really much, you know. Maybe a little better uh, when you're not recording, but it's still very slow. Um, as you can see, it's just it's not reacting very quickly. You know, I can just move it and just wait and wait and wait and wait. Ah, there we go. Uh, but I, I think if you, mm, okay, so that's the, as you see, like three seconds or something like that, and it says in serious or in serious noun, masculine and singular, proper Jesus or Yeshua, and there's apparently a search function. I have no idea what these do. I haven't used the program much. The thing is. If I want the Aramaic, as I understand it, there's Aramaic tools, but I'm not. Sh it it's cost cost nearly two hundred dollars, I think. But in any case, as I understand it, it's actually one of the powerful, most powerful tools in regards to the Aramaic. So I'm looking into if if you know if I should see if I could get it. But the thing is, it's the program itself is still very. Um, very slow but it would be nice to have an aramaic source to check at and i still have the aramaic other new testament and all that and some of the torah things and all that um so and that's a lot cheaper so i'm looking forward to him actually you know fixing it <laughs> in some sense but uh, it's uh, you know if 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 I'm going to pay for you know uh, the, the tools might actually be you know, it's already finished. The tools are already finished, and but I'm not sure how it actually will be. Uh, you know, if if it, you know, how it is on mobile, and I guess if you pay for it, you can't just. I'm not sure if you can just you know get your money back if it's not really what you wanted. Um, so you have something in regards of root. Um. And again, slow, it's very slow, it, you know. I guess they have a lot of information also going on uh, in the program, but they really need to make this this program more fluent. I have the Logos program as well, but uh, compared to the Logos program, you know, there's like three big competitors out there, and one of them has pretty much closed down, 
and I'm not sure if they they talked. You know, one of them talked about something that might, you know, might or might not. But they are not on the mobile. But that was actually my preferred thing. That I it was the cheapest in some sense, and it, the design was the was the one that I you know really um, wanted on on the computer if I I was going to buy anything. Uh, the Danish university here it seems in Denmark also uses Bible works it seems so they haven't changed it over I need to I need to go by the Danish university at some point and see if I can um, talk to them as well uh, I talked to them with in regards of Danish sources uh, in regards of the Antichrist and the papacy I'm still looking into I, I wanted Luther's last book in Danish but it's um, not really um, haven't found anything uh, there are some other sources in Danish in regards of the hall in regards of Rome and the Antichrist that we seem to have but it's in old English oh, sorry old, old Danish and I don't read old Danish not only is there of course difference in how you say things but there are different letters as well which I need to learn if I'm going to be able to read it at some point, you know, um, so it's it's not it's not easy, you know, to read. Any case, so but it's some interesting sources I got from 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 them, from the university library, and apparently we have like this Rick source things library thing that I can go study as well and look up sources for myself. But I heard I heard one of the guys talking about this book that the book after Luther has written it actually went to King the King in Denmark, and and uh, what shall we say read it aloud to him. Uh, but I'm thinking if the King of Denmark was getting it, you know maybe he could, you know hear German or something like that. But I'm thinking. Wouldn't the people also want a copy of that book and listen to it in Danish, you know? And oh, and, and if it went to the king of Denmark, wouldn't anyone actually have translated it before actually reading it to the Danish king, you know? I, they, 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 they just read it in German to him, you know? And, they, you know, just... Um, Maybe he knew German, you know. Maybe he had done, you know. He's probably, you know, he's a king, a great education, and all that. Probably knew knew German, but I don't know. I have to look that up, you know. Um, but as you can see, it's it 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 it's it's probably you know they are still, as I understand, it's still doing um, doing work on the program. But again, the program itself just seems slow. Uh, they really need to do something to make it quicker. I'm not sure what, but it's it's just slow, you know. And then you have all this library of different things that is just Hebrew tools, reference tools, general tools, and all that. And I'm like, uh, you know, you have the Mount's Greek Dictionary, and that's all good, and I'm sure, but I don't really need more things that disturbs me. I just want the things that I, I'm going to buy, if anything. Of course, it's just a minor issue. Like for example, the GNT GNT demo, HMT demo. Can can you actually delete them from the pro program? You know, then we have the S E S V E thing and the whip. You know, if I don't want those versions, can I just delete them? You know, uh, from the program. I'm not sure if I can. And um, but the ESV text edition 216, the Holy Bible English. And of course, you need to buy them I think if you want to or was that logos that you need to I'm not yeah I'm not sure if this is a demo of if this is actually uh, the full version of it it might actually be the full version again the S E S V seems to be one of the bigger versions in regards of con you know uh, in regards of having a concordance like the King James version like as we saw over in and Bible but here it's also free maybe it's also free in the other program but again yeah it's ESV and I found a book with a concordance where you could you know sometimes it's just you know sometimes it's just feeling you know sitting with a book and all that and um, um, and and I've looked into it and it seems like there is this ESV version with Strong's numbers which could be interesting maybe to to read in a book form I've been looking at that um, just you know you have a little newer words and all that and they 
yeah, I, 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 I have, I, it's something to think about anyway too. But it seems like it's at least some of the versions that are being used out there, uh, maybe replacing the King James for, for, for some people. You know, I don't have any problem with the King James. I use the King James, you know, for sure. And it's nice to have, it's, it's nice to get some practice in Old English as well, because there's a lot of Old English material out there, which, you know, uh, which have a lot in regards of the Hall of Revelation, um, in regards of Rome and the Antichrist. As, let's see if we can, uh, here, we have, here, here we have an, a dishonest translation again, the ESV. You know, and God called the expanse heaven. No, 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 no. And the gods called the expanse heavens. And again, the expanse, I would probably translate it that as space. You know, we are to become like children, right? Does, does expanse be something that, you know, space, children, uh, uh, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think space would be a good word for, if you look at, if you, if you look it up in the Bible, and look at how it's used other places. I think space would be, you know, you need to find a word that can be, tra you know, if you can find one word that can translate all the Hebrew places to English or Danish, that's the one word you want, you know, uh, as far as I can see, because the reader can then understand that this is, you know, is that, instead of making it more difficult for the readers, then making it more easy. You know, but the, the thing is, the King James Version have like multiple English words translated from the same Hebrew word. And it just, it's not needed, you know. Of course, they didn't have the tools that we have. But anyway, um, doesn't seem like there's anything that I can go behind the text in, in the other version here. Let's try this. Or doesn't the program now work? Maybe it just doesn't work now at this point. <laughs> um... Nope, doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, there we go. Just very, very slow. And that's the thing I couldn't find out in the beginning how it worked in regards of of seeing what was behind the words because it didn't really react. Uh, but apparently you just need to, you know, um, wait a long time. Here we have Yitzhak. I think Yitzhak, noun, masculine. So it's a noun and it's masculine, it's singular. E -E -E -R -C -C, I'm not sure, proper, Isaac, that's Isaac, that's English form. It's in Hebrew, it's, it's Yitzchak. And I just don't understand why we need to translate all these. I just want the Hebrew, you know. Let's see, so we can search or we can amplify or we can search and copy or share or we can push this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is Itzhak two times, two times where? Two times in the first chapter or what? Mounts Greek. Oh, there's more information here. Mounts Greek uh, Dictionary GG2693. Mm -hmm. 20 times per name. And it has like, I wonder, E in this, I'm not sure, you know, where, what that stands for. Mm, MT Matthew 1, 2, 8, 11, 23, 22, uh, 32, sorry, Acts 3, 13, and so forward. And then you have some of the versions, I guess, where you can go to. Not sure what that, but I don't have anything installed in regards of the new King James version, or you can't push it either, it seems. Uh, I'm not sure why they refer to those. The NIV, that's one of those revised versions, I think. The ESV, I think, is also based on the revised version. And NRSV, I think, is also based. The New King James Version is the received text. And the Key King James Version is also the received text. The only thing that is problem with the New King James Version, as far as I... Of course, they have other issues, but the ye and thou and all that is taken out as I understand it. And that can make some issues in regards of the grammar, I think it was called, in regards of, is he talking to you or one person or more person? And, and that's the King James Version in regards of thou and thy and so forth helps on that. Uh, you know, I think it's pretty nice 
English as well. You know, the English uh, and the Danish and, and old Danish and old English just sounds more, I think, you know, better. And nowadays it's just so... It doesn't have any... The beauty is, is just not there anymore, it seems. The beauty is just gone. Um, so we have like root maybe. Let's try root. See what it says. Hmm. I'm sure you can use this for something or whatever. They still have the 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 pointer thing. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but I, I guess there's probably a lot of information. But the program is just slow. So, but maybe I should give it a chance. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should give it a chance. And then if I want the Aramaic and be able to look behind the Aramaic, it seems like that would be one of the ways to be able to do it. But if I need to just push every single word to get the information, that's going to take a long time if you need to do that every time. I don't know, it begins to Genesis, 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 hmm. Biblos, Biblos, Genesis. Um, or maybe it's Biblos, Biblos. Maybe it's a V sound actually, Biblos. People lose because it's like a no oh, the B as well. Maybe it's Vilos. Vilos. V Vivlos. I'm not sure. But but, but the bed is usually uh, the B is usually Vita. So Vivlos. Vivlos. Oh yeah, that sounds a little more they have the Greeks have this thing of thinking like it's like a barbaric thing and all that i've read about it it says well actually the the hebrews thought the greeks was barbarians and the greeks thought the hebrews was barbarians because they have the sound and they didn't that was like barbaric <laughs> so the greek has like it's more feminine language it seems to me like vivlos maybe you know vivlos vivlos it's like it just doesn't have any um I guess Danish is like a middle thing, but we don't have the ch sound either. So I have Geneseos, Geneseos, or Gen Genesis, or Genomai, or something like that. I'm still, you know, still learning Greek as a long way, but now an unfamiliar singular general birth lineage offspring family. Hmm. Then we have. I should know that, but it, it maybe it's Isai or something like that. Is Isoi, Isoi, Isoi. It's Jesus, but and they translate it as Yosh, Yoshua. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I need some water. I think two seconds. I'll be right back.
There we go, running again. Just made some uh, cacao. I f is it called cacao in, in English? I think it is. Um, apparently cacao has caffeine as well, so I'm not sure if that is actually good. But it doesn't have any sugar in it, as far as I understand. So, I'm trying to not take any sugar of any kind. Now, of course, the body will, you know, produce sugar for by itself. It needs sugar to run, but just keeping it at a minimum, so it's just, uh, so it doesn't get any overflow of it. Um, and this should not have any sugar in it. Uh, it doesn't really taste, uh, you know, flavorable as such, but, you know, I guess it could be a lot, wor a lot worse, but anyway. But apparently it seems to have, uh, what's it called, like coffee. Uh, so, you apparently get to where you can, you know, yeah. And that might not be a good thing, but in any case, so I'm, I'm trying things out here, but in any case. Um, so, so let's see here. So we have the Greek here, uh, the demo of the GNT. And again, maybe we can get some information about that. And again, these programs are, of course, biblical programs. Uh, I'm not sure if Logo is still... I have... Let's see. If it wants to get up here. App Trash, sometimes it's still... And I threw it out yesterday. I'm not sure if I... No, it do, it's not there. I had this Greek demo installed, but I, I, you know, it's just too, what shall we say? Maybe I'm just not, you know, I, I, you know, it's just uh, too fast for me, I guess, or something like that. It just, you know, the bubbles was too fast for me to, and I'm not a quick, quick, uh, not, I'm, my head is not that quick, you know. Um, so maybe it's just because it needs a break or something like that. And, uh, uh, um, anyway, um, Let's see text. So we have the S e ESV and an I. Let's see what it is. That's the first version that is installed. Um, Crossway Bibles, a publishing ministry of good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if for full copyright information, go to. And that's what I also hate with Bibles, you know. Oh, you can't quote this and that, and that's copyright and all that, and you know, copyright is of the devil. I don't like copyright, you know. Uh, I do get that. Oh, you you are not able to copy this, and then then people are able to sell the things and all that. But it's just you know to to also to be able to copyright something, it needs to be different from something else. So you need to have different words in the Bible to be able to copyright it, as I understand it. And thereby you might have a Bible with weird words in it uh, instead of just standard you know easily understood words because they need to be able to copyright it. Anyway, so. Oh yeah, that's also in regards of the Bible Oak Tree Bible program. Uh, no, it wasn't that something like that. I deleted that, but you could buy things as well. I didn't really. Uh, I'm not sure what that actually had in regards of uh, Oak uh, Tree. I saw a picture of what where this like had the gospel and it has some images as well in regards of land where it is and all that that would be nice because when you're sitting there reading the gospels it's like yeah they went to this place they went to that place they went to this place and i was like okay but where is that place you know one thing is to say they went from this place to that place to that place to this place and all that area but where is it <laughs> and that would be just be nice with a map you know uh so I think that actually that that version I saw some pictures, but I'm I'm not sure I actually ever got it to work. So so this is would be the ESV version. Not sure why the I is there, but anyway, this is just a free. I haven't bought anything, so this is just what you get when you install it. Then we have the Nestle Allen 28 Revised Edition. Yeah, the Revised Edition. Yeah. Not really interested in that for sure, um, but that's uh, you know the twenty eighth version. Apparently, you change things from this and that and so forth as it goes. But that is in regards of not the receipt text. So 
but it's a demo of it apparently let's see what the gross wheeler westminster hebrew didn't we have that in regards of westminster didn't we have that in the one of the other programs uh let's see yeah uh i think maybe this one no 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 didn't we actually read from that westminster i think in regards to the quick bible i think wasn't that the let's see here yeah, where do i find out which version it is can i nope oh that's the double vlc but what is the double vlc you know isn't that oh yeah double vlc can we get some information about that west minute yeah nope maybe not <laughs> what about uh nope uh download it there we go let's see if we can now uh, we can just move them up and down that's actually also one of the things that i would have liked to uh, in the other program uh this one um in this l in this uh, menu where you have all the bible versions and whatever it would be nice to actually move them up and down to just have the a b c d you know from the uh the letters the problem with this is if you like want the English here and the Greek here and the Hebrew here and so forward, you know, um, you can't do that, sad, sadly. So you just have it in a, you know, and it's not really, I would have liked to have the option, the other option to, to uh, who knows if it comes around. Um, I have talked to them about it. And they said you can actually change in regards to the files, but then you can't get the update. But it's not that, you know, there's not many updates anyway in regards to the Bible models, modules. So I guess that's one of the ways to do Apparently, you need to go into and, 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 and change something in the file itself, and thereby you would actually be able to do it. But then again, you wouldn't get any update because the program, I think, don't, uh, don't recognize it as one of these module things but anyway mm. but again the updates in itself doesn't really uh it's not really that often any update comes around anyway in regards to the modules as far as those i use anyway so was it like the westminster hebrew Matthew, isaac groves and v wheeler so maybe it's not the same thing as the other one that i looked at but um, it just says Westminster Codex. So it's probably just the normal version of Westminster Codex of the Hebrew. Oh, oh we got something. Ah, there we go. Well, it doesn't say much. Okay. Oh, oops, not sharing. No, 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 no. So that was, let's go back to the to the hey mt demo gross wheeler western minute hebrew moth morphology for point yeah uh, okay so i guess and then we have the whip version oops hmm. let's see world english bible uh okay i know in regards of the logo version as well i looked at that and it's just huge amount of books and many of the books i'm like i don't need them at all you know it just fills you up with all these books and this and that and i'm like i don't i don't even want to see them because it just makes more you know complexity in some sense you have all these these books which you're not interested in at all you know and um so i see so we have the dnt demo and the whole mt demo and the QNT apparently is just the nestle test text, you know, nestle allen text and be careful about the, um, you know, this the receipt, no, not the, 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 what was it called? The, the revised edition, yeah. We just want to have the received edition, thank you. And just keep your loot uh, distortions away from the rest of us, please. Hmm. So, I guess if I get the the Aramaic version that it will work a little of the same like here. 
Let's see. Right then, oh, comes up here like noun. Familiar singular spirit breath wind. That's the Veruak. Again, you can see the they have the musical notes in this version as well. Uh, uh, you can see the, the there's one here down here where it's like you like a moon thing, you know, uh, but you know just just to the left of the three dots and the three dots are one of the new codes but the other you know moon thing is not so apparently it seems to work if you just wait <laughs> a long time um, and I do wonder if this is the like demo modules you know where you only have like three chapters or something I think you only have three chapters or something like that to well if that's already so slow how you know, will it be slower if you get the whole module? Um, that's not the... Oh, there we go. Ah, at least uh, it, it did it a little quicker this time. Hmm? Oh, I don't know, it's going faster. Okay. And then you can search infected tag, inflicted. Uh, no idea. The selected word cannot be found. Okay. Again, how many chapters do we actually have in regards to this? You can do you can also do like this thing. But again, I'm not sure what to use it for, but um and you can also fix it like in, in two lines instead. Oh let's see. Um you can you can fix it like this. And there we go. That looks pretty good, you know. At least when you have it like uh, like I have it at the moment, that actually looks pretty good. And the text follows along, but it takes a little time to update. As you can see, it doesn't really follow fluently uh, with the text like the other free program that is uh, that we tried. This just takes a little longer to update. Yeah, it's not just a little longer not so fluently that's for sure so that's something I think they could work on but maybe it's because there's so many informations or something like that in the program itself I'm not sure um, I guess if if I get more used to it maybe I can yeah, we have some text size line spacing at least there's some features to hmm. okay advanced settings ah, it doesn't look that bad maybe maybe I just need to give it a chance you know um, but again it's okay I'm recording I know I'm recording so it so of course that would be make it slower um, how do I actually go forward like can I just We'll just go to the second chapter. Sometimes the program itself is just... Um, <laughs> it's, it's not liking me. Nope. Loading, maybe? There we go. Oh, there we go. 2, 1. So it actually goes to the next chapter. Yeah, let's... Oh, it's loading again. That's um, it's it is interesting how slow it is. <laughs> it's it's very interesting. So I think they really need to do something about that. Now I know, you know, it's this stuff. As I understand, it is still in development in some sense. You know, they are still making things for it and all that. But as far as it goes at the moment, it I think it's just slow. That's chapter three, so we have chapter three at least. And we see that they change the Lord God said to the servant. So no plural in regards of God and no plural in regard or no name in regards of the Lord. I'm not sure if the name should be here. Oh well, we can actually check the Hebrew, right? <laughs> That's nice to have the Hebrew, right? Oh let's see what they have. Uh oh. Uh, line 13, let's see. Veyoma Yehovah. Yeah, Elohim and the plural form of God. So, bad translation in regards to the English. You know, they should, you know, they, 
they sh should know, they probably do know, but La Isha. Now, of course, I could call them up and say hello if I can find out if they still have an, you know. But I think I'll start with the Danish people in regards of knocking on at that door and asking them some questions and of in regards. And I need to, you know, if need to see this, they have like a place where you can look at Bible versions as well. And um, it would be interesting to see if they actually have a Bible version with the where you can go to directly where you want to be in the Bible. And also where there's still room for you to write in it and all that. That's important as well. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's see. And ask them some questions as well. Well, why haven't you translated this and that and this and that? And isn't it plural in, in the Hebrew? Why didn't you translate as plural in the Danish? <laughs> yeah, I can be annoying, I guess. Just want the truth, you know, in regards of the, the, the closer we can get to cleaner water, the better, you know. That's my view on it. Vayoma Yehovah Elohim. So then Yehovah, the God, said to the woman. But again, they don't really, you know. Why is the, I have like 13 over here, but then the 13 is now down there. Um, hmm. Yeah, it really it doesn't really follow along, does it? Fourteen and still, fourteen is still down here. You know why we have fourteen here, yet it still continues to to have fourteen in the middle. When I I have fourteen in the top in the right, as you, as you can see, and fourteen still in the middle on the left. That doesn't you know that doesn't make it easier you know to follow along. So, Vayoma Yehovah Elohim, so it's, it's down here, and now it changes over on, uh, this is not going good. So, why now we have 12 and 13 to the left, oh, sorry, to the right, and we have 13 and 14 to the left. Uh, you know, give me a break. <laughs> this is, this does, there seems to be some issues here, you know. And maybe maybe it's harder for the program when I'm recording and it's using a lot of apparently a lot of power to do what it does apparently. So that's that's the thing when you have the free programs doing the things very fluently, you have to question how that can be. Oh, now it came at the top nearly, you know. At least it's yeah, it's it, 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 that's okay, you know. Hmm. So Vayoma Yehovah Elohim El Hanachash Ki Ash Asit Asita Sorry Asita Sot Ahua But again, all the musical notes. Why? Uh, you know why? What's what? What do I need the musical notes for? You know. Uh, I don't need them. Get them away from me. Do I have dust here? Can I just... Can I push like and search now? Or do I need only to be in one window to do that? Hmm. Doesn't really do anything, does it? Nope. Doesn't do a thing. There we go. There we have something. Now it does something on the left, as you can see. Not really reacting much, but it's doing something, I guess. Hmm. Very slow, not reacting. Again, I think my mobile and this program is probably working over time. <laughs> yep. Not really changing to Elohim. I wonder what it's going to going to do now. Hmm. Nothing, maybe. <laughs> Wasn't there anything in regards to the S uh, ESV? I think there was in regards of uh, where it also could. Uh, but as you can see, it's not really. They really need to work on it. You know, it's uh, some more on the fluently thing. I could probably talk to them about that. 
and maybe also ask them if I could try out the version of the Aramaic, what would happen. If I could try it out, maybe they can fix that I can try things out for seven days or something like that. They should be able to do that. Uh, maybe I'll ask them about that. Just seven days would be, you know, nice to just see how the Aramaic works and all that. And they should be able to do it, I guess. So maybe they will. Maybe they will. That would be nice. Okay, I think the program has pretty much crashed now. <laughs> It's black screen. <laughs> well, in the old days in Windows, we got the blue screen. Let's just, uh, hmm. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, close app. So, accordance, as you can see, is um, well. It might be, it might become better in the future, but at the moment, it just uh, it is a very, um, it is a really um, what shall we say? It seems to be very slow compared to the others, and it might might be able to do more things, but it's, it doesn't seem like it's it doesn't really seem like it's more uh, as far as I can see here. You have the, you know, let's take, um, it seems easily to, to get around, I guess. But anyway, let's see if we can get it to, okay, beginning. Now it works, okay. So parasheet or uh, ray sheet, that's nice. That's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, Elohim is pretty good as well. Doesn't, doesn't have the musical notes, it seems. That's also something in regards of, of, of Elohim and regards of grammar. It has something, uh, uh, another thing going on when, with, with Elohim in the Hebrew. I uh, can only search. There was nothing in regards of the, the Shamaim. And you, as you can see, the singular form is actually found there, it seems. That's Shameh. So Shameh should be the singular form. Shamayim should be the plural form as far as I understand it. I have heavens, and you can search. You can search what word or key number or word. Let's search on word and see what it goes. Hmm. Ah, uh -huh. interesting. I've seen that in one of the videos where they did that. So that's interesting. So if you want to have a word, you can search on it on this way. Interesting. Let's see if we can do other things. Search and search on the key number. So then, then it would be the key numbers now. Oh, so let's see, search on the word again. I'm thinking I'm getting it. Search and the word, then it shouldn't take the heaven. Uh, apparently it did take the heaven uh, with it as well. Why did it take the heavens with, with the singular heaven when I just said search and word? That's weird that it would take it with it. I would have guessed it would have not have taken the word because you know it's just hmm, that's weird. Uh, apparently, it seems they account for it as well. Oh, not slow again. I don't don't want to respond. And that's the thing, if you're sitting here and researching the Bible and this is so slow, now again, I know I'm recording and all that, so of course it's slower than usual, um, but it was not quick either when I was not recording when I tried it out. Um, so, and apparently now I don't want to work again. <laughs> you see, there seems to be some problems in the program, yeah, still, you know, that they need to figure out. But maybe it's because the program was first made to to uh, iPhone, and and now they're trying to get it to Android. Maybe they are, you know, maybe there's some programming differences. I'm not sure that makes. Maybe it runs a lot better on iPhone. I would I would guess. Uh, at least they have had longer time to fix it. I don't have an iPhone, so I can't check. 
But now it doesn't work in regards of fixing anything up again. Or maybe it's because there's this one up. Um, search. Maybe I need to close that down and then I can do it again. Nope. <laughs> doesn't, that didn't seem to help. So. But as you can see, every other program of biblical programs was running pretty good. You know, even if I was recording, they might have been a little. But, you know, some of them are actually running really quickly, actually, uh, even if I'm recording. So so seeing this, you know, program that is actually from a paid company uh, and their modules is not cheap for sure. It's just... Uh, it's a little sad to see that it's not working any better. But again, uh, they might actually just still be in the beginning stage of this program. So might still be working on it. Yeah, there we go. Now it works again. That's oh, nice. It's nice when it works. And then I just need to find out what all the things does. And maybe it can be useful. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I can. Maybe it can come to a point where I can find this program to be useful, and if that is the case, there we go. Um, that works again. <laughs> and if that is the case, then I would be able to get an Aramaic source as well, which would be wonderful. So I can have an Aramaic witness, the Greek witness, the Samaritan witness. Oh, they probably also have a Samaritan version with the. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if they have Yahshua, but as I understand it, the Samaritans actually also have a version of Yahshua. I found it in German as well, and there's a German sauce on it and all that. Um, so they actually have six books of the Bible uh, from themselves. Um, so, and then of course I would need the Dead Sea Scrolls modules as well. So. And the Targums I have in some sense, but I would need to be able to read Hebrew because a lot of it is not translated as 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 of now. Um, at least the, the program I have where the Targums is. Um, so I have diff so I would have different witnesses to help me in regards of yeah, getting it all together. Uh, for example, in regards to the sixth day, instead of being the seventh day, actually being the, 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 the only, you know, if you have like three test testimonies and pro probably I can find more, but I have to look. But at least three testimonies saying that, you know, when they translated the Hebrew text, it was not the seventh day, it was six days. Well, maybe uh, the Masoretic text got it wrong. And there's other places where the Masoretic text like missing sentences. We at least I know two places where it's missing sentences. And where you can see these sentences in translated, you know, if you have other sources like a Samaritan version and an Aramaic version that really pretty much doesn't have anything to do with each other, but both of them have the same translation at one place where the Masoretic is not. Couldn't you conclude that maybe the Masoretic text that is only around 900 years, going 900 years back, might be wrong, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think we can. Anyway, the Jews have this way of just, you know, having total weight on the Masoretic text. And that's not going to... Uh... Also, we see in regards to that, apparently more Hebrew manuscripts out there in regards of the Bible where you see variations... By the in regards to the name of God, where they have replaced it with Adonai, where apparently, and we had the Jewish guy that became a Christian uh, verify or say 134 times, it was actually the name of Jehovah. I haven't found. I was looking in regards of Elohim, and I found it in his book in regards of Elohim, where Elohim was, but I didn't find anything where he actually wrote that Elohim should be Jehovah. At least, maybe I, I read a lot of it, but I didn't really find... Maybe I missed it, but, or, but maybe it wasn't there. I couldn't really see it. Uh, but it is recorded other places. So, But he recorded the Adonai, which 
I was told by this Jewish so-called scholar um, that that it wasn't, you know, he hadn't seen the source and all that, and I gave him the places, and yet he said, no, it's not there, blah, 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 blah. Well, it was, it was, because I found the books freely available. I had searched on that before, but apparently now they had come on the internet, and I searched it, and I found it the exact place, the two places that they said where it should be, and both of the sources was correct. So, one really have to be careful about people out there, even if they, you know, you're scholars and you don't, you don't know Hebrew, so you're just stupid and blah, 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 you know. <laughs> um, yeah. So, let's see, hey, MT Demo. Mm hmm. I can use. Okay, so at least we, we know that this seems to work. What about the Whip Edition? Does it have the same thing? Mm hmm. Doesn't really have much information here, does it? I see. Nope. I see in the beginning. No. Apparently, the whip version doesn't have much information. Just have the heavens and not really anything in regards of. Not much more information. Hmm. So they seemingly haven't made this work with anything. You can just, I guess, amplify or... Again, I'm not sure what amplify is. The plague of the ninth of darkness in Egypt. It seems the, the, seems the whole Bible... Oh yeah, we were looking actually uh, in regards of how much of the demo actually had... Uh, text. Let's try again. How do I actually change? Uh, oh, this is okay. This is maybe the New Testament and uh, not the Old Testament. How do I change chapter? Can I just. No. Oh, this is just up and down. Okay. Is this the end of it? So you have one chapter or something like that here? It would be nice to know if you. You know how to uh, Matthew three thirteen, so it seems like there's three chapters in the DNT demo. Now Logos, which also have a program for the um, Logos, also have a uh, you know a program for you know for Bible search and all that. Personally, uh, you know, I was looking on the three programs Logos and Accordance and Bible Works, which was the three big programs out in the Bible fear, I guess. And uh, Bible Works was the primary program that I was looking into buying if I was would get one of these. It, in some sense, was a cheap, oh, I still have the hair out here, oh well. <laughs> anyway, um, it was the cheapest and the design of it was the best. It might not have looked the best in regards of you know, it seems accordance came from Mac, and, and I don't really like the Mac design thing, but... And I tried it, and there was some issues as well with it. Yeah, some... Uh, maybe because it came from Mac or something like that, but some issues with it on the computer as well. And then, of course, there was the Logos. And that seems to be the most Catholic program of the tree, so that's... And not and they had most sources. Logos had mo the most sources out there, but the thing is, I don't really care about many of the other sources. I just care about the biblical text, and that seems also to be the focus of Bible works. You know, not really going into all the other things, but going in regards to the Bible text. So I was actually, and they're still. You know, people are still selling it in some sense and all that. But I'm still waiting to see what they are going to do. Because it seemed like they they wouldn't release it for free to people. And I'm like, you know, if you're going to just make it open source so people can, you know, work on it. But they didn't want to do that. So it seems like they might have something in this, you know. Um, and we'll have to see. And I'm still waiting for it. But it seems like a lot of users went to accordance. Um, they made some Bible works packages and so forward. Um, so, 
I'm still, I'm still, you know, in, in the, yeah. It's like it takes time to, to learn these programs. And you need to know how the programs work before you can actually use them, right? So, um, and it takes time. And some of these expensive programs have a lot of features. Um, so... But anyway, it has the first three chapters of... But again, I can find this freely other places where it has it, you know. Maybe not this version of the... But I'm not really interested in that version anyway, you know, in regards of... Uh, you know, the revised text. I don't care about the revised Catholic distortion, you know. Um, so, it's it's not really, a, you know, a thing. Anyway. Um, and here we have the Hebrew, which is also a demo. Maybe maybe some of the things they, they have these texts is like going behind the text, you know. It's, it seems maybe in regards of, let's see, if we go behind the text, that it might have some information that is nice. Biblos, Biblos, or Viblos, or Vivolos, Vivolos, well, yeah, I think it was. A noun, familiar, singular, mm, something, N-O-M, scroll, book, record, whatever. I need some, uh, you know, and the, we had the search thing. Lexem inflected root tag and we had some let's see can we actually go backward in this thing now it's not probable to uh, untag hmm. oh there we go there we have biblos but what is like tag that is genesis Parthenos. what has that to do with anything why is it now tagging different words i have no idea what is the idea of it? Oh, it has different, okay, so it searched on something, but apparently it searched on different words. I don't know. <laughs> so let's try Biblos again. So we have, and we can also search, copy, share, and we can ampl amplify it. Let's try to check, amplify the root. Huh. Okay. No. Idea. To eat. Viv 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 for school. And they actually use the B apparently, but the B is a ver. But that might actually be if they take the so-called old Greek thing. And I don't care about the. I just care about the new Greek way of of, of speaking. No, no idea why I would uh, uh, take the old way, um, but you can see the difference where they have, where they think it sounded like this, but they're not sure. Instead of just going to the nowadays uh, Greek way of, you know, saying things. Uh, Vios, I think this is Vios, but again, I'm not sure why it gets these search results. Um, now I guess if you are educated on a university or something like that, you would probably uh, it's like eight, eight, eight years of education. You know these guys. I think I think it's like isn't four years and then four years again, and then all the other education things and uh, so I guess you have to. Um, I guess you learn a little about the programs. But they apparently they used Bible works in in Denmark. It seemed it seemed they had Bible works on the computers, and they haven't changed those yet. And I, I do see there's no really uh, there's no really hurry for changing things. I guess, um, but they actually used the 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 tool. It seems I have to check it. Yeah, you know, I have to, to get by at that po at some point. Maybe there's some sweet nerds as well. You know. <laughs> has some of the same interest. I don't know. Um, uh, let's see here. So that's great. Yep, yep, yep. So the unit T. So we have the Hey MT. Barashit Barada. We have the Genesis. So this is the beginning of the Bible. But again, of course, it's nice from the demo to see some of the things, I guess. Uh, but it's not really something that you couldn't get from any uh, 
you know, some of the free sources are just, and again, I, I like free, you know, I like the idea that someone, and again, someone makes something because also some training to do it, and, and then you get it free, you know, you have received freely and you get freely, and now it doesn't work again. Uh, oh, we can actually, that was, that was in regards to Genesis, ah, that's how you do it, okay, so you push up here. Let's see, two judges, one, let's see, John, John, hmm? ah, woo, that's something new. Um, so this ESV apparently have the whole Bible, it seems. Mm -hmm. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants. Now, pay attention to the book of Revelation. It's really, why does it actually say Amen. Uh, okay, it goes from, okay, the last book. But pay attention here. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So it's the revelation of who? Of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants, that would be us, the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Now, this might be interesting, right? Because who is he? He made it known by sending his angel. Now, angel is just another word for messenger. And he made it known by sending his messenger to his servant John or Yohanan. That would be the apostle. Now, the question is, who is he? Is it Jesus sending a messenger? Or is it God sending Jesus as a messenger? Hmm? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, you just woo. <laughs> anyway, um, so I think personally, that's just me. I think, you know, he made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. I think, as we see, it's Jesus being sent as the messenger, and God, his Father, sending him. And it is the revelation of Jesus Christ. Again, we have the Trinity working together again, you know. But anyway, who bore witness to the, let's see here. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, the messenger. Who bore witness, you know, that's the thing. When you see the word angel, which I think is actually angelos or something like that in the Greek or something. Anyway, angel is just a messenger. I can be a messenger. I can be an angel. If someone sends me in their name, I'm sent on behalf of their name. Jesus said, I come in my father's name, right? Something like that. Anyway, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ. So that's John, who bore witness to the word. So John is the one bearing witness to the word of God, I think. I see, I see. We have to be careful because, anyway, who bore witness to the word of God, that will be Jesus, and to the testimony of Jesus Christ. Well, in some sense, isn't it saying the same thing twice in some sense? Maybe witness to the word of God, that might also be the Bible. May might be the Bible talking about the scriptures. Uh, but we know that Jesus is also called the word of God or God the word. And to the testimony of Jesus Christ, well, he's not, well, that's maybe all the places, but Josephus, for example, say, God the Word. Of course, we know the Word was God and was with God. And to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy. So this is a prophecy. And blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. So again, I'm still little who bore witness to the word. Is this John talking about who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw? Yeah, well, that would be that would be John, right? That he saw, that John saw, I think. So John to the seven churches that are in Asia, and that would be Asia Minor. That's the place where they, uh, as far as I know, rejected Paulus as an apostle. But well, that's called so. Um, and they went on to keep the, the, 
the, uh, the festivals of Yehovah, which is written in the Bible and not those which the Antichrist have been promoting, you know, and trying to distort the truth and trying to get us away from God's festivals and his Sabbath. Anyway, so he starts, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. Now, who, who is and who was and who is to come? Well, that would, of course, um, we have Jewish sources like Nehemiah. And Nehemiah is a Karaite Jew that shows the Jews that only believe in the scriptures, not the New Testament, but only the, 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 the Tanakh, the so-called Old Testament, the law and the prophets and the writings, and uh, which, you know, is positive at least that they... <clears throat> oh, my throat. Um... Just two seconds. Yeah, you really talk a lot when you begin to, you know. So <clears throat> there must must be something that one can do to help the voice, to soothe the 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 voice when you use it a lot. Anyway. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come. Now, who is... Uh, anyway, yeah, Nehemiah says that Yehovah actually means, uh, you know, who was, is, and is to come, or is to be. I have, I have the Hebrew words up there. Uh, where's my glasses? Uh, and of course, I can't see it at this moment. Two seconds. Haya, uh, uh, there's something I can't, I can't see the second, but Haya and Yiye is two of the words, and there's one more word, and I can't see what it says, but anyway, um, Nehemiah, which is no, a non-believing Jew, he's one of them verifying that Jehovah actually means, you know, to means these three things and apparently the Samaritan seems to also agree with that in any case so so the question is who is Jesus or Yeshua of, uh, and I think it's pretty much so to this title which I think most Christians will actually you know agree that this is talking about Yeshua but uh, uh, it's actually in regards of you know also the name of God Oh, it's some Jews apparently say actually means those three things. They don't, you know, Nehemiah, Nehemiah don't, don't agree that Jesus is God. But um, grace to you and peace from him who, who, who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his, his throne. Now there's these seven candles and all that. And I still have, a, you know, this book can be read over and over and over and over again and open up more and more and more and just wonderful. I think there's a possibility that these seven spirits, but I could be wrong, absolutely. But I have an idea that mm, these seven spirits, well, maybe it's in regards to the seven churches. But I might be wrong, but, um, you know, it talks about these spirits being sent out through the world, right? Um, so, I don't know, it's, um, uh, the seven spirits who are both before his throne and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness. So the firstborn of the dead and the rulers of kings on earth. So, so grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, maybe you could actually point out that it might actually be, you know, um, the father might maybe in regards of, uh, it's just a little, it's a heart. And from the seven spirits who are before his throne and from Jesus Christ, because now Jesus Christ, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of kings on earth. But again, Jesus is um, God, but, you know, he still has the Father as God as well. So you have the Father, you have the Son, and you have the Holy Spirit. They're working in unity. But you have Jesus being who is, he is, and he was, 
because he was, you know, that's in regards, he's not, not, uh, and he's to come again, or he's to be. And we also know Yehovah is the one coming back to rule from Jerusalem, that's written in scripture. And then they shall know that Yehovah has sent me. So Yehovah says that at that point, Yehovah, um, you know, they will know that Yehovah has sent me, yet it's Yehovah speaking. I can't remember what it is, but anyway, um, uh, that's interesting, isn't it? You know, um, uh, you know, you see these two working together and of course the spirit as well. Anyway, to him, I'm not sure why it has the P's and the R's and the S and all that and the X apparently also not sure what that's about. And now the thing doesn't work again. Wow, what a program. <laughs> and the question is, if this is, if this is, you know, I'm recording now. So, of course, there might be some issues. But the question is, if these issues is actually there if i'm um if i'm actually just using it standardly and that would not be okay you know you get you know you would get very tired of that oh it's not really anything there maybe the free shouldn't it um there we go uh freed g3089 okay I want one of the words that actually have like a P or whatever. Doesn't get anything up. What about this one? No. Apparently not. What about A? There we go. But it doesn't really say why there's an R there. Or the S or the T or the U or whatever. Uh, P... Maybe it's in regard. That's the L and the M. Maybe I, J, J, K. Uh, that's a H and a G. I have no idea what is. Does it start with A or maybe? Oh yeah, A, B, C, D. Okay, so maybe it's like, maybe it's like you know uh, some reference. I would guess. Um. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was. And they are like IJK. So I guess it's, you know, reference. Usually the reference usually comes afterwards. I'm not sure why they put it in, in the front. But anyway, and I'm not sure how to access those. Um, those if, if it can actually be accessed. Um... You know, you would have thought that they would actually have some kind of, you know, how to, oh, you can actually, hmm, it's still very slow. But well, that's actually very nice that you can, uh, but here you go and it's loading and you can get over here. It just says how many times it seems. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's go back. There we go. Uh oh. Oh that's some oh oh I entered something. Eastern Bible Dictionary A Aleph the first letter of the Greek Aleph is as Omega is the last. Uh Alpha. These letters occur in the text of Revelation. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, it's, I have no idea what I entered, but it doesn't seem like it was what I had hoped for. And it's still very, 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 very slow. It doesn't react. <laughs> Come on. Hmm. Uh, no idea. But I do wonder if people are using all this instead of just doing their own research. <coughs> um, but I'm not sure how to. No. Well, I guess there must be some way of of you know looking into it. I would have liked to see. Uh, I have one tutorial on the computer that uh, I asked him about and. And he also told him, I gave me a website for, you know, in regards to the troll. Um, 
it would be nice with the demo mode to have the demo explained you know what you can do and what you cannot do and all that <clears throat> so at least just to try it out right uh, but it seems to me like these letters are actually uh, you know it must be some information or some place uh, but again where to access these anyway so let's see here um, so he's the firstborn of the death Jesus is the firstborn of the death and the ruler of kings on earth he is the ruler to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood who would that be that would be Jesus by his wine that put out when his bread was broken you know when the Passover lamb was slain the Passover lamb and made us a kingdom priest to his God so according to this we are both I'm not sure which word is actually used in regards to the Greek and uh, sadly we had that was a commentary on this thing that Melito made but uh, sadly we don't have that book we as a lot of books of Melito we don't have anymore maybe because it was a going against the Antichrist. Uh, hopefully more f more things will come forward as time goes. But, uh, you know, his material, I think some of the material I read from him are just oh, wonderful. I really love some of the material for sure that Melito wrote. And I would just wish that we had more. But uh, he was one of those keeping the festivals of God, like the 14th um, of, of Aviv. Uh, come on so we are made uh, made us a kingdom priest to his God as I think about it, I thought it was actually kings and priests that he made us kings and priests so you don't really need to go to a priest right and they're also telling so many lies out there so um, you don't really need to do that just read the Bible for yourself and let the Holy Spirit guide you and be careful of Paul um anyways let's see number six and have made us kings and priests unto god the king james says and his father to him be glory and dominion to ever and ever amen you know the king james version is just i i, I do love you know i do love the king james version absolutely but there are some issues with it for sure but I do use it, I do like it, but I'm not a King James onlyist, you know, because there are things in the King James Version which if you don't go to the Hebrew or the, you know, you will make some mistakes and I've seen people make mistakes. And also the worst thing with the King James Version of the problem, I think you just need to update some of the things, you know. It's still wonderful, but I've, you know, and it has been updated, but uh like for example in regards of the doctrine of hell just translate it to the realm of death or something like that instead of translating the same hebrew word to three different greek uh sorry it's uh, three english words and then don't translate gehenna into hell which then it makes a mess of it you know just to try to do a, a search on uh, on sheol um you know in a bible program and you will see the problems there is you can do it yourself don't trust me you know just do it yourself and then look in regards of Gehenna and hell search on hell and when you search on hell in regards of the King James Version you can you will find you will find a lot of sources already there and then you can search you can see the H the, the, the number of the of what word is translated to hell and search on that word as well and, and you can get all the hits of how uh, how it's translated and so and you can see it's translated to three different things in the in the so-called old testament and then in the new testament where jesus are talking about gehenna he's talking about the lake of fire not about not about the realm of death so you see, and and then people end up mixing it, and yeah, just um, anyway, you can do your studies on that. But it's re easily, I think it it would be easily corrected in the King James version, and it's just you know, minor things here and there. You can just update the King James version and still have the old English 
pronunciations, wonderful pronunciation, and still get some, uh, but just, you know, oh uh, well. So no, I'm not not a King James owner list. I think the King James owner list are, but we are to take care for sure because when you are, but uh, no, no, not not any King James owner list. You can get into trouble by being that. You know, um, I really love Kent Hovind and all that, but I heard one of his, uh, you know, eat the meat and spit out the bones for sure. But I heard he wanted to correct the the Hebrew with the with the King James version. Ah, no, 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 no. It's just oh, ah, no, 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 no. That's just that's just going to you know. Any any case, you know, it's just uh, that's that's not not no 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 no. Um, that's going way too far, I think. Um, so, <laughs> um, but you know he has, yeah. You know, Kent Hovind has some very, very good material on, on, on in regards of creation and you know against evolution. He, you know, really. Uh, but you know we all have our mistakes. You know that's the thing. We are all brothers and sisters, but we all have, you know, we have our mistakes here and there for sure. And so, you know. If you look back in regards to the Protestants, oh, as you know, they had a lot of issues. But they were coming out of the Dark Ages, so you can't just throw out all the things just because they had issues, still having a lot of Catholic issues. And we still have a lot of Catholic issues, but uh, like Sunday, you know. And all the the traditions that we are keeping in our days and all that, and now the so-called Protestants are running back to the to the Antichrist and all that. So we still have a lot of issues, but but if we look back on the Protestants and just throw everything out because they had some issues on different doctrines and all that, you you you, you can't you can't just do that, you know. Just uh, um, they were still they were seeking truth, you know. It's like you know, it's like pulling rope from Satan, and they were beginning at one point to pull rope from Satan. That is not to say that they didn't have issues, you know, but they were beginning to pull rope and pull in the right direction. Um, so we pretty much seems to have dropped the rope in our days, sadly. So Satan is taking rope very quickly from us. And we really need to stand up and take a hold on that rope and we begin, you know, begin to pull some rope, you know. Um, and some people seemingly are waking up, so it's nice to see that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully more will wake up, you know. The more the merrier, the, uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct, the more the better, you know. The more people standing for truth, the better. Um, so, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who were before his throne. Again, maybe I'm wrong in regards to the seven spirits. Maybe the seven spirits represents the Holy Spirit. I'm not sure. It's some. It's one of these things that I still have problems with, how that is going to work out. But we know if we are going...